again sandy show us your nails again do they match the collection they're of awesome they, of course they do jen oh that's gorgeous oh, <laughs> so I've, got an, I've got an amazing nail tech you have yeah. they're very good they're awesome hey eh? very clever are we ready to start uh, awesome what's that good let's give it one minute maybe not is ready to go Everybody here, yeah, we got the two. No. It's got in groups. About 60 yesterday. Not everybody loves it. Tartan is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Karen Tartan. You know this name is going to stick, girl. Oh, okay, we're getting quite a lot of thumbs up now. Yeah. Sunday's ready, Julia's That's ready. Important. So I think Sandy. It's called bricks, uh, bricks or fabric. Yeah. I'm going to mute everybody. Just unmute yourself if you want to ask any questions, join in the conversation. Otherwise, use the WhatsApp group. Um, I'm monitoring it the whole time. Sandy, I think before we start, just show the ladies what they need to get out. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, just what you need at the moment to start with, you need your mini album pack. So, just you can take it out so long. You're going to use that. And then over and above that, you're going to use um, PP8031, which is either the. Uh, sorry, are you switched? I didn't realize you switched. So either you need PP8031, need two of them, it's the brick or the fabric. In the textures pack. And it's in the textures pack. And then for piece B, you're going to use PP6303, which is called OMG. We're going to do the cutting for our piece A and B first. We'll pop those to the side. We'll prep the chip, the chipboard, and then we'll come back and then we'll be working with these. So your two pieces, PP8031 and PP6603. And then if you haven't cut already, I know the ladies do many albums with me, you probably have cut already. But if you haven't cut, um, we're working in centimeters today. So remember, everything is width by heart. So I work exactly the same way as Jenny. So if you're Jenny, a Jenny who's the interactive girl, we work exactly the same. So everything is width by mm -hmm. heart. Do these things. And we're cutting these two, we're cutting two pieces exactly the same. We're cutting them to 18 centimeters by 23. So generally what I do is I cut my um, 18 first. Well, I cut the barcode off. That's like I cut my fingers off of this one. So just cut both your barcodes off to start with. <laughs> You're going to be working, keeping this for later. Oh, goodness. So, with this one, it doesn't really make too much difference, excepting your um, brick. Obviously, you want your brick ideally to go that way. So, if you want to use the brick side, because you're welcome to use that. We're going to make sure that the brick is running horizontally. We're going to cut two pieces to 18 by uh, 22 centimeters. I reduced it slightly. Then I just take all my 
extra pieces that I'm not using, I take those and I just put them one side, Shandy, so far away from me. And I'll ask you when you do measurements just to say it twice. Okay. Are... All right. So it's 18 centimeters across. That's the second one, we're doing exactly the same. 18 up 22. The two pieces exactly the same if they're a little bit off, it's not going to be the end of the world. Trust me. Test to the side. So two pieces, 18 by 22. Pop those just to the side, and if you can mark them just with an A, you can mark both of them with an A. You can even take a really cute little bulldog clip and just put them together. And I take mine and I just put it face down on my desk because generally I do all my cuts first. Yeah. The second piece we're working, we, we're taking from OMG. <coughs> and we're going to be cutting at 30 comma 5, which is the full length by 16 comma 7. So your 16 comma 7 is going that away. And again, I'm just taking my excess piece and I'm putting it to the side, taking this one, it's 30,5 by 16,7, and I'm popping it with the other two that I've already cut. I'm marking that one B. Mark that one B. You can then grab your mini album pack and you're going to prep all the hard, the two hard boards, three hard boards, sorry. So you can leave the craft to one side and the instructions. We're going to just prep. Yeah, Enid, please. Um, oh, you've asked it. Okay, cool. You need to double sided tape. I'm working with a 12, a 12 mil. If you've got a 10 mil, that will work as well. You need a double sided tape. Thicker rather than thinner. It'll work, it's fine. And then for the next step, we're just going to pop double sided tape. Starting on the spine, and I coat the spine, but I make sure that my tape goes runs all the same way. So I'm going to do everything, and I normally do outside, outside, and then fill the inside. Should Juliet leave a tuck spot? <laughs> <laughs> no tuck spots. For now you ain't gonna see this. Aww. Okay. So you see a few requests to slow down the middle. 
will slow down. What I'll do is I'll do a demo so you can see, and then I will slow down. I will stop. I will give you time, I promise. Annalise and Di, we are slowing down a bit. All we're doing at the moment is covering the hard boards in tape, and then we'll stop. So don't stress. Okay. So that one is coated. And this one, we're going to go around the outside as close to the edge as possible. That's going to kind of inky your paper in place. I know that's a big word. Eh? It's almost like marmalade. This is what happens when you're a school teacher. Oh, no. Serious stuff. <laughs> okay. All the way around the outside. And you're going to do a couple of strips on the inside. I promise you, once I've shown you what I'm doing, I will stop and give you time. I'll break the momentum. For a lot of the ladies, so this might be their first mm -hmm. mini album. So. All right, so everything's covered on the spine, but here yeah, it's just around the outside and a couple of strips. For the girls who live in Durban, I like to do a little bit more taping than less because with the humidity, the paper tends to bubble. It does settle again. We're just doing one side. One side only, just one side. And like I said, um, do what makes you happy. So if you like to use your scissors to cut your tape, use your scissors. If you like to use a knife, like I use my knife for three sides, you'll eventually, if you do many albums, you'll get to a stage where um, there's certain things that you do that make it easy for you. The whole idea is to make it as easy for you as possible. Sandy, why do you use um, a standard tape here and not a red tape? It's it, not needed. It's not needed. And the red tape is like two and a half times the price. And I've, I've been using this tape probably for four, five years. I've been using this and it's perfect. And if, yeah, and if it holds up in the Durban humidity, it will hold up in pretty much in anything, I think. So yeah, we get into that stage and that's it. While they coat there, could you just put the other pieces that they had earlier in view? What's that one? Thank you. So let's make a little collage with those so the ladies can see. B e and these A. Generally, your mini albums aren't just one size. You do I do all sizes. Varying sizes. What's the biggest you go up to? About a 10 inch. 10, 10, inch. 10 inch. Yeah, because I like to have enough to fold over. Well, you'll see now when we cover the outside of the album. I like enough that there's a, a bump. I normally work in inches, so an inch to fold. I think today I've left two and a half centimeters, which is pretty much the same. At all sizes. <laughs> if somebody wants to create a mini album at home in a specific size, how would they get hold of the board? Do you make kits or? Yeah, I think I make kits. I think sell... a couple of girls who do kits. And then also you can go into your local, probably your local Waltons in Durban. You can get the board. I think a lot of us who do many albums sell the board in our shops. But yeah, it's just a gray board. Uh, some... So you can get the board in yeah, your shop? You can get okay, it, yeah, you cut it down. And we cut it for you. Yeah, we'll cut it. Um, I've got a lady who cuts all mine down for me. She does it. It's a printing company. So it's quite cool because she cuts it down to smaller sizes that are manageable. If you go to like Ann Chalice, one of them, we've got to buy big sheets, which is a bit awkward. It's awkward to cut. But yeah. If we get some thumbs up on the group, if you, Annalise and Guy in particular, if you guys are caught up.
Okay. Okay, it looks like most people are ready. We'll go slowly ahead, so don't stress if you're still busy, just listen. Reference. Okay, so we're going to pop these up or grey ball to the side. We're going to pop B to the side. And we're just going to be working with our two pieces that we've marked A. And we're going to join them together. So I'm going to be joining them together on the brick side because I want to see the fabric side. But if you want to see the brick side, you're obviously going to turn them around. And just a little trick I've learned because I'm super, super, super clumsy. Um, is I pop the two pieces together and I cut two teeny mini pieces of tape, literally that big. <laughs> and all I do is I make sure they butt it up correct, right close to the, um, each other. And I pop two little pieces of tape. You can see my two little pieces of tape there. Remove the release tape. And I take a piece of um, my double sided tape and join them together. And that way we get a nice join, there are no gaps. Join it together like that. Also, when you're making mini albums, try and be neat and tidy because you land up with a load of release tape that you're going to be. Um, little pieces of release tape, long pieces of release tape, try and be neat and tidy and keep your desk clean. Otherwise, eventually you land up with piles of stuff and you don't want that. Those of you who've got um, metal rulers working with metal rulers, I normally work with clear ruler, but I'm working with the metal ruler um, today. And I've just measured, and the width of my ruler is roughly two and a half centimeters. And we're going to use this ruler um, to help us with placing our hardboard. So this measurement is quite important thickness of your ruler. If you've got a super thick ruler, you're not going to be able to do the next step using the ruler the way I'm going to use this ruler. So for the next step, you're going to need your six mil tape, you're going to need your ruler, you're going to need your board, and you're going to use your backing paper. And the first thing that I'm going to do is remove that release tape. So I've whipped it off. And I'm going to pop my ruler level with the base of the page. And I'm going to pop it where the, the join is. I'm just going to put the 16 cent or the 15 centimeter mark on the join. It is quite hard to see because the paper is quite busy. So just pop it on there as best you can. So lining up the 15 with your join and stick it down. So it's an age thing. Another little uh, tip that I've learned along the way just to make my life easy is to just make a quick, using a ruler, just make a quick um, Half middle mark. halfway mark. So I've got the teeny weeniest, oops, I actually not done that. Little mark. Mm -hmm. 
and then remove your release tape from the back of your spine. Gosh, we're saying double sided tape. It's your release tape. The release, the release tape. tape. Yes. Posh. I don't talk okay. too much while I'm doing the knees because you do need to concentrate. So, whereas we might chat with others, I try not to chat too much because otherwise you lose your train of thought. All right, so the release tape is off. On the other side, we've got our two little marks. And all we're going to do is we're going to line up our two marks with our join. So remember, we had our 15 down the base. I'm going to put this one on the 15, and I'm going to line the other little mark up with the join. So now our spine is kind of right in the middle of our two pieces of paper. And if we turn over, if I turn over and show you, okay, there's our join, it's perfect. My ruler is stuck because of that piece of tape that I had there. And that ruler is going to do, not only is it giving me my distance, but it's also going to help you keep everything nice and straight. So if you have um, uh, cut something a little bit off, you're going to straighten everything up now and it kind of falls into place. You need your six mil tape. Now, some of you might look at six mil tape and think, oh, wow, that gap's going to be huge. But this is going to stop your spine from cracking and growing all awful and your album doing that. So you need a six mil tape. You're going to open, put one on the left hand side of your spine and one on the right hand side of your spine. And don't scrimp here. Go six mil, go big. We'll go home. So there's our spine and there's our piece of Okay, and because we've got our, our ruler down the base, we get now going to just simply add one cover on either side using your ruler to keep your um, straight line or keep everything in, in place. I know some of the girls do them, just eyeball them. but I prefer to just use the ruler. I'm going to move all that release tape now. The ladies uh, that are falling behind a bit, um, we'll stick these two down and then ask Sandy just they to- They will slow, they will stop bit. again, yeah. I'll add some more photos to the group as well as we're going. Sandy, your six mil um, tape, is that functional or is that just to give you the spacing? It's just the spacing. Just the spacing. It's a spacing and what it does is it actually pulls the, the outer cover and inner cover towards each, well, towards each other and kind of seals it. So it's, it, yeah, it's doing a couple of jobs. So there, yeah, your two different tapes. It also strengthens. Strengthen the paper where you're yeah. gonna fold it, it just gives it that extra bit of yeah, the area. extra bit of extra bit of um yes yeah, and stability, yeah, 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 bit of stability with it. Are we all good? Have we all got this far? 
once you've done that, you can remove your ruler. We're not going to use the ruler anymore because we've now got our distance. Debbie, Linda, if you could you give us a thumbs up? No, they no, they're not ready yet. No, we'll wait. Okay, don't we'll worry, slow don't down. worry, people. <laughs> we'll slow down. Promise I'll slow down. We don't need to eat lunch, so there's no... <laughs> We've eaten enough all weekend, yeah. so definitely don't need to eat again today. We will finish this album. <laughs> Heather. Perfect. You're done, Heather. Are you ready? Fantastic. You like a sweet sandy one, right? Yeah, oh, I'm all done. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to have to look sweet. So you just carry on because I'm going to have a sweet. Oh, Debs had technical issues. Okay. Debs, there they are. Okay, Next, I'm going to grab my 12 volt tape with my mouth full of sweet. <laughs> and we're going to tape around the edge. You'll see now when I tape, I start in line with the board and I finish in line with where the board ends. You're going to chop the corners off. So if you make as many albums as I do, it does save a little bit of paper. Okay, so just tape it. It's a twelve mil tape, Kiri. Um, a lot of the girls when they do minis, um keep a smaller border all the way around the edge. I like to have the at least an inch to fold in, preferably an inch or two and a half centimeters. But that way um, you can get a really nice finish on your album. So just taping all the way around the edge, leaving the corners, we're gonna chop those off. You basically have a, a six six mold tape and a twelve mold tape. For my other mini albums, where I use a different hinge system, I use the six mold, twelve mold, and eighteen mold. Eighteen. So I use the three sizes. Six mold literally is only for the gap. The twelve mold we generally use, and the eighteen mold we use in our hinge. So yeah, we've got it down to quite a fine art as to what we use, where, and how we use it. So you'll find you go through loads of twelve mold. Um, I've actually got a 10 mil here as well. And the only reason I 10 mil, because when you do a, a score and you're making a hinge, you're using now having a centimeter. So it doesn't have to be a 10, but yeah, it can make life easy. So we're going to, we're going to chop the corners off. And in the past, what I would have done is picked up, possibly picked up my ruler. And I would have kind of eyeballed it and I would have drawn a line. And I'll show you now, I'll hold it up to the camera. So I would have drawn a line, picked up my scissors and cut. And when we went into lockdown and I had a little bit of extra time on my hands, I thought there must be an easier way to do this. And after trawling around the net, found a few ideas, um, but came across this one. So this is definitely not my idea. I've just seen it used. Um, and we developed this little Martin Magic, which Dennis helped me with. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> so I gave Dennis the idea, told him what I wanted, drew a picture, and he translated it for me onto the computer. So I'm going to use my Martin Magic. And what I do is I simply take the tool. 
turn it upside down because it has a little right angle there, hook it onto the edge, and then all I do is I come in with my knife and I chop the corner off. Now, unfortunately, with Perspex, you have to have a three mil gap there, otherwise it's too thin and it will break. Ideally, I'd like to make a two mil gap, but maybe my next mouth, not at the moment. Then a lot of people ask where can they get that from? They can either get them directly from me. If they're in Australia, they can get from Jenny. She should have a shipment arriving shortly. Um, Do you supply them to Lara, Lara, Michelle, and Juliet will be having stock as well. Okay, cool. So if they're looking, yeah, it's going to be pretty much yeah. Okay, so you'll be able to grab it. From you'll be able your, to grab from, from one of store? from my store. Tell me something. Um, what brand of brown tape are you using? I'm I using to Easy Tape. Easy Tape. Yeah, Easy Tape's the, pretty much the bomb. Dot com. Dot com. So you're just going to cut off. You're going to these. It's called martyring. You're going to martyr all your corners. And I'm devastated because I left my favorite favorite phone folder at home. No, it's a Martha Stewart. The girls who do my online classes now have got a pink one. It's so cute. It's pink and it's got bling. Let's get this one away, thanks. Got it there, a Martha Stewart one is my favorite. But your scoring tool that you need needs to be relatively sharp, but not too sharp. If the end is chubby, it doesn't score nicely. Um, some of the girls are using those, um, what do you call those things? Bone folders. Uh, no, the, the little ball. Yeah, yes, the yes. ball. That's it. Some of the girls are using, stylus. and they work really well. The fun, the, like the small one. And you can get them from the channel more. They're like relatively cheap. So I me, think, can I just interrupt? Yeah. For those that don't have the tool, can you just give them some tips? For those who don't do. have a bone folder. No, sorry, the Martin Oh, the Martin yeah. Oh, sorry. Those, you just literally are going to have to draw a line, making sure you keep a two to three mil gap here. This gap that's over here is really important. If you don't have that gap, you're going to land up with your board sticking out. So where I showed you earlier, the line, I can't find it because, oh, it was here. You're going to just draw your line and then chop it off. Remember, leaving that two to three mil gap. So we can just give them some time to close without the tool. Yeah. A struggling. A struggling. So the struggle is real, girls. The struggle is I real. Think you better manufacture some tools. <laughs> We've just done another hundred. Here we go. So it was designed by Sandy, digitized by Celebrate, and is manufactured by Scrap Collection yeah. to real South Africans. It's just totally 100%, yeah, 100 South African product. And then assembled by Rod and Sandy <laughs> in our dining room. So you might get a bit of cat or doggy, but that's sorry. <laughs> so a few people um, missed that part and they've cut right to the edge of the album. They're just going to have a bit of album yeah, showing. Yeah, they're going to have a little bit. Match. It's not a chain set. Yeah, washi tape it. So yeah, you need to keep that little gap. Hold it up again so you can see. You can see my distance. It's a two to three mil gap. Lundy had a good suggestion. If you have cut it too close, just keep the triangle that you yes, cut and, off and, and add it on, yeah. or just add it on. If you've cut it too close, just stick it back down and add it. Stick it on with double-sided tape. Add it on. It's not going to be a major a major thing. Add, add, add it from the inside because it basically we're going to be folding it. The other thing that the girls do if they cut too close is they put um, metal corners, mm -hmm. and the metal corners just hide the the imperfection. And they do look good. They do. They look amazing. And we can I can even show you how to make a simple um, paper one at the end, which will add a little bit of pizzazz. It's the mini album version of Pluck a Blom. Pluck a Blom. Yeah. Pluck <laughs> yeah. a corner. Stick a corner, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that is an important step. And I'm sorry, I should have maybe explained it a little better when I showed you that I'd drawn the line and, and left the gap. Laura, you've already got an order for five. 
<laughs> of the thingy above above corner thingies, please. <laughs> it's called a Mata Majig. <laughs> Who's that from? Sandy's Sandy's oh. Okay, so if, I'm, if I show you the Mata Majig, <laughs> this area here, it's a multi-tool. Uh, multi this area here is for Mata and Corners. This area here, this cut, is for making a tag. So if we want to make a tag, we're going to use one and three only. Um, hang on, let me use. I'm just going to use a piece of the. Um, so I'm stressed thinking. Okay, so while we're waiting for the bills to catch up a little bit, this area right is for doing your corners. Then on here, you'll see there's a just a sort of angle, your angled piece like is for cutting tags so that you don't have to worry about getting them level. Yeah. So you'll just pop it down there, flip over. Obviously you're not gonna have a tag that big. Okay, so that gives you your tag. This side, if you're making big albums, this size will give you the size you need to mount to corners. You'll see yeah, I ask yes. you to mount to corners. And this is the other one that's quite important, the engraved section. I don't think you can see it. It was easier with after the back Okay, there's an engraved section, also in a 90 degree. And what that is for is when we get to do our pockets, we're going to use that to mount to the base of the pocket corner. So I'll show you that later. But, oh, and then this one is your little notch. So if you're doing a pocket and um, an envelope and you need to notch out your envelope, there's your little envelope notch, your template. Sandy, maybe we could uh, get you to do a video next week or whenever you've yep, got time. I've got a on, video. On how to use it. Yep. Okay. I've can got you upload it to the WhatsApp group? We can do. Okay. I'll grab it later and I'll WhatsApp. I mean, we'll upload it. Okay. So once you've done that, can we carry on? We're just going to take your scoring tool, my knots on our scoring tool. Because it's not bling. Because it's got no bling on it, that's it. And you're going to score just around the outside, as close to the cardboard as possible. This is just going to help you get a nice clean line. If you pick it upside down, generally, you can see where I've scored. Let's see if it's your nice clean line. And I just want to say we've got lots of orders coming in on the WhatsApp group. And really, for 7,000 Rand, what a bargain. <laughs> Fantastic, then. It's fantastic. <laughs> Lucky I got mine at half price. <laughs> Lucky fish. <laughs> yeah, so you just score all the way around and then use your board and just fold in the long sides. Don't remove the tape yet, just fold in the long sides. I do a lot of, when I use, do this type of thing, I use my board a lot because it just helps you get a nice um, sort of clean line, top and bottom. So just do your top and bottom, don't do your sides yet. It's okay, it's not the end of the world if you've done your sides. No, we don't. We're the worst. But we're still fussy cutting. Because we're still fussy cutting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're just going to fold like that. And then what we're going to do, what I do here is I just remove a little zip. I call them my zips. And the only reason I don't remove the whole thing is because I've got animals at home. And then you land up getting dog hair cats and everything else caught. So I just create two little zips. And once I've created my zips, I remove the two long pieces of tape only. Only remove the long pieces of tape. Don't remove the short ones yet, just the long. And use your board. Once you've done that, take the bone folder. You don't need fancy tools. And just give it a nice good press down. And you'll see they're my little zips. They're my little zips.
And now with my favorite tool being at home, I'm hoping this one is going to work as nicely. But what we're going to do next is we're going to tuck in these corners. And basically what that is, at the moment, the line's running straight. <laughs> I'm going to use my tool and all I'm going to do is just pull the corner in. The bottom one, have a look at the bottom one, I'm going to push up and what it's going to do Instead of the line now running straight, at the end it gets a little bit. Some plastic surgery. Okay, so you're doing top and bottom, turn it around, and the same again. So from there, pull in, from there, push in. And there are videos on how to do this as well. I'll hold it up to the camera for you. So it's tucked and tucked. Can you demo that one more time? Okay. okay. So we, oopsie, there we from there, you're just going to push it in. From the top, you're just going to pull it down. That is complete. Remove your tape and fold. Not the fold thing. I never ever fold too. The board. Yeah. It, it makes it easy, and it also just by doing it that way. Um, even. It's even and it's all level. Yeah. So even if you've got like a little imperfection or whatever, you generally land up with getting it nice and straight anyway. Can I just say it's the neatest cover I've ever made? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So your corners should be beautifully tucked. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can talk about your matcha. It's my matcha magic. So it's just because of the matcha. Because it's like a thingy magic, but it's matcha. So it's a matcha magic. I've never even heard of the word matcha until you, to be honest. <laughs> it's so it's your so new, local. it's your new word. Yeah. Matcha magic. So a matcha in woodworking is a, is a thing. It's an angled. And so we already stole chipboard. Which yeah. from woodworking and now we're stealing matcha. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, matcha is basically cutting at an angle. I think all the good events, you know, like a bull as well. I want a matcha with you. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I want a chainsaw. Coming. <laughs> 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 Coming. Okay. 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 Yeah. Don't always have to have the. Well, that's why. I mean, lockdown has been a, was difficult for everybody, but it gave us a chance. I think in a way to sit down and breathe and actually ask, what do I need? What do I need to make my my hobby easy for me? Yeah. Whereas normally, you girls know, we don't have time to even breathe. Actually, the last three months, we've all been so busy. Yeah. So you've got the, your beautiful little album. There's the back of your album. I'm just going to put that. In fact, I'm not going to put it to the side because what we're going to do is I asked you to measure this piece, the full the full width, 30,5 by 16,7. And if you put this onto your um, your cover, you'll see that yours is slightly, this piece is slightly too big. And I did that on purpose because depending on your gap that you've left there will depend on how big your album is. So if your gap is slightly bigger, you're going to need a slightly longer piece. So it was done like that for a reason. So what I want you to do is use my favorite method of measuring, pop your piece of your piece B on top, and then just make a little mark top and bottom. Jules, can I ask you to pass me my little guillotine, please? Thank you. A little, a little mark 
and you're just going to remove that teeny bit of excess. So everybody's piece is going to be slightly different in size, depending on how big your gap is. Sorry, Dennis. Sandy, you're obviously a guillotine fan, not a trimmer. I use guillotines because paper trimmer, the blade gets blunt too quickly. So you, if you're making a mini album, you're using what, an average album, 20 to 30 card stock. It's probably like a one blader album. Exactly. Yeah. And by the time you finish cutting your card stock, you are finished. Um, pattern paper is a bit more forgiving, mm -hmm. but card stock kills the blade. So I use, at home, I use the tonic 12 inch. This one is like one of my favorites. And then I also have a really big arrow. And the only reason I use the arrow is because it's heavy duty and you can fit big pieces of card on this. Would you use that to cut your gray board down? Gray board, I use okay. an arrow, yeah, because I like my fingers. Yes. <laughs> a lot. Mm. A lot, especially when they've got pretty patterns on. And I like them even more. Okay, so you should have just cut that down so it fits. And then we're going to flip it over and onto the reverse side. And if Honestly, if you don't want to use this, you think it's too busy for what you're wanting, you can use either side. You can use the blue side. Really, it's not a major problem. But what we're going to do with this one is we're going to place tape. And I like using tape for this um, because glue squishes out everywhere. Mm -hmm. And also, if you make a mistake, you can pick it up. Okay, so you're just going to tape all the way around the outside edge of this one. And if, if it makes you happy, you can chalk it. So I've, you, I asked you to use, well, I asked for the wheat, but really you can use pretty much any of the colors that were in the list. If you like a sort of more, a darker chalking, you could use the black. If you wanted to, you could do like a, a more bluey color. The sanding bug bit yesterday with Juliet. You can sand, sand. Oh. yep. You can, I love sanding as well. I'm, I'm very lazy when it comes to chalking. I hardly ever do. I'm very, very lazy. And I forget. So like you land up, you start an album and you've got a bit of chalk on it, then the next minute um, you've forgotten. So there's something that's not chalk. So I, no, I just don't. If you're cutting cross blinds, you don't need chalk. If it's neatly cut. And I always cut neatly, Lara. Yeah, but that's what you get with a good team. <laughs> yeah, a trimmer you want to always get. You don't always get a neat, a neat. Um... That color again? Sorry, this color is wheat. I've yes. used wheat. And literally, the only reason I went for the wheat was so that it just took the white edge off. But did you chalk now? I did. Oh, I'm like the star, star pupil today, teacher and pupil. <laughs> Telling you, right? Okay, so piece P is B is prepped, and I'm going to work with my album cover again because we're going to do some really important steps quickly. Again, we're going to be using a 12 mil tape. Okay, so my aim with making mini albums as well and teaching you how to do mini albums is to make them, number one, the quickest way, number two, the most efficient way, and number three, so that they work perfectly every time. And I tell you that as a <laughs> shop, if you have an album made at a function, they will all buy the album blank and, and they will make an album. Mm -hmm. So we, as a shop owner, to everyone that's shop owners, you have to have an album. Because it's so easy. And they're, and they're super, super fun to make. I mean, oh, these yeah. this, these albums normally can take 45, not even, 25 minutes to put together the base album. And it's the decorating that takes the time. And that's where, and all, that's the fun. The fun. That's where all the scrapbooking skill comes in. And the scrapbooking, all that fun, like embellishing and, you can and use stuff. Leftovers. You exactly. can make an album with every pack we've done this week. Exactly. You I mean, make uh, if album. you point behind you there, Sandy, I think the ladies can see the other side. Sure. The the other song, yeah. Chicken or beef? <laughs> <laughs> so we keep like over a thousand of those in stock because that's how quickly they sell. Yeah, they're just cheap. And they're cheap. They they cheap especially so this kind of album as well. Yeah. This one they can one using, out there so you can just show them. This one we're using. Those. Um, this hinge is called the stack the deck. It's not my hinge. 
it's been around for 100 years, maybe a thousand. Maybe we know even more to run on it. But it's called the Stack the Deck. Um, I think it's a Denison. What's her name? Follow the paper chain. Follow the paper chain. Um, I can't think of her first name, something Denison. It's an American girl that I think maybe, I don't think she maybe came up with the idea because it's like a, it's really, it, it's a simple idea. But yeah, this one's called a stack the deck. So this is like a really simplest um, kind of mini to put together. Uh, oh, it's Christmas, what a perfect gift. It's a perfect gift. And you'll see what I did with this one because of time constraints, instead of doing the regular 16 pages, we've cut it down to eight pages. So it, it's even quicker. It's quick to do. Um, and it's a perfect gift, except, especially for like grannies and little brag books and stuff. And you can make it, you could cut your um, spine down even if you wanted to and make it so it's smaller. There's like millions of things you can do with such a tiny little album. You should challenge everyone to make one with every leftover of the mm. five packs. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. But all five packs. All five packs. But only leftovers. And that's about the whole texture. So it's a whole lot of extra sheets. Of texture yeah. Sheets. Cover the bulk pack because then they'll see oh. the value that you can still make an album. Yeah. Because you're using, literally, you can use all your leftovers. You'll see by the time I finished here, there's so much paper left over. It's, there's enough row on the page. Probably two. And then I did, with the original pack, I did an altered book. So I'll share that. Um, I'll share that on the group as well. And you can see what I did with the. Sure technical. No, it, well, it's not a hard, it's not a hardy swap. These packs sell for Dennis. What you need to add? Thirty five. Thirty five. Recommended retail with the wholesaler, I think, is thirty five. Is it thirty five? I yeah. I sell mine a little bit cheaper because I use it as it's, I give it base. to the ladies and say like, there we go, there's your base, and I used to cut myself, but it's not worth it. It's much better to just get it like this and you take it home. And also on Celebrate website, Dennis has uploaded all the classes. The mini, the mini yes. pack classes. Yeah. So all these instructions actually are there as well. Then there's older ones. There's yeah, the, there's older ones. And some of the collections are available at stores. That's it. A lot of the stores have still got one or two. Mm -hmm. I had a little altered book with. Michelle says we need to move on. This Michelle Newton, we're going to have to meet. Oh, I next. told you, Michelle Newton. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> see But I did to agree with her. Time is to All right, right. chatting more strapping. Yep. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> okay, so now the next step is one of the most important steps. So, pretty much like your corners, this is the next really important step. We're going to take double sided tape. I'm using 12 mil again. So you don't ever pull this off now. No, we will. We'll pull that off in a bit. Oh, on the side. Okay. Oh, I can't see. No, I've still got it. We'll pull it off later. Every question you ask, there's 10 people at home asking the same question. <laughs> Which, so it's good. Right. So we're going to stick tape. So my, my little zip is still there. And I've got my tape. Zip. My zip. My zip. Yeah. And we're going to tape one, two, three, four. So on either side, and this is going to stop your inside cover from bubbling. If you don't put these two pieces on either side of the spine, when you close your album, the whole album is going to bubble. It's going to look awful. So tape, and then open above that. You'll see I don't put the tape right to the end because remember, I've taped the outside. So you don't need the tape right to the end. And then over and above that, you're going to take a couple of strips of tape and just pop them. I'm putting in three extra on either side, like so. 
And you'll see I haven't put anything on the spine. And the reason I haven't put anything, sorry, I'm going to come back and put on the spine. So there is no reason. Good to know. I just haven't got there yet. I just haven't got there yet. Patience. <laughs> I'm coming back for that one. Is there a reason you use the 12 ball and not just like a huge big thick ball? And there's no, other album goals like those, like 50 more tapes. Do you use, I hate the thick tape. I can't I can't it. It. It's, 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 it's to my hands. My I can't, it doesn't fit comfortably in my hands. Okay. And it's weird because when I hold my tape, I always hold it like in my pinky. Okay. So I wear kind of like that. Oh, right. so if you want and to pick one, it won't. It doesn't fit in nicely. So for me, 12 more is perfect. And then um, I know Tracy, who scraps with me quite a lot, she does something like can't do it. <laughs> just, I, can't, I can't, yeah. Okay. And just personal preference. So it's personal preference. You know what I always say? Do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Whatever works for you. Whatever floats your boat, do. Okay, so we're going to have something that looks like that. Laura's doing his all I've got meters apart. I thought you were closer. <laughs> no. I've got a little tape. Do you want some thick ones? No, no. I hate tape. Put no. some thick one down the same time. These came off. Where do you need? Oh, I must have do the middle. Yeah, middle. Okay, my beautiful. Do some of that. I'm going to step off. Remember, I said I'm not going to show you. Yeah, but then I thought to. you weren't showing me. No, I thought I would show you. I thought I'd be kind. Thankfully. Thankfully. Look how Laura ruined her book. <laughs> I put it in the center just so it holds it down. So Laura said to us when she did her class, she's not a tape fan, she's a glue fan. Could this be done now with glue? You can do it I with do glue. My, I do my book with tape, but on the inside I use glue mm -hmm. when I do it. Yeah. Because um, glue, you can move, you can You move. can, you but can. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do it that actually tape works better. I'd, yeah, I just find that glue, it's, it seeps out and it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not great. Well, I don't find it great. So I'm going to show you what I do. Now what I do is I go through and I'll pull down a whole lot of little zips. So if you me, you pull down 92 zips. <laughs> the only I feel already for the entity. The only ones that I'm going to take out now totally are these two little ones. You know the ones that kept the gap. If you grab your zip, you can pull them out. The rest I'm just going to fold back, and if you use your nail, like so. Don't damage your pretty nails. No, I won't damage them. Promise. <clears throat> my problem is we're not going to classes anymore so everything's in a spot in my room so it's hard to pack i forgot half not forgot anything and then when you don't have your tools that you use all the time, it's like I'm missing stuff. Yeah. Erin, help me. Okay. And then on this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to create little zips. And the reason I do this is because I'm super clumsy. And if I had to remove all the tape, I'd, do, I'd have a problem. Have you met Juliet before no. this event? No. So I think you guys could be friends. You're very similar style. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to zip too. I, know, I think I could be friends. Yeah, I think we could be friends. <laughs> you, might, friends. you might disagree on tuck spots. But we were, <laughs> no, 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 no. We <laughs> were, I do tuck spots too. Trust me, we do tuck we spots. We were instantly friends. We were instantly <laughs> friends. It was like, oh, I've known you forever. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take a photo and put a photo so you can see how I unzip everything. Because honestly, 
this was kind of life changing. One of those wow moments. How can these mini albums be so easy to do? Without going skew. Without going skew and without getting into a flat panic mm. because you've got all this tape, release mm. tape is gone. And you stick skew and then oh. it's skew. Yeah. The bottom edge hooks and catches and then that's it. <laughs> And, and you just pull it slow. Definitely have some um, yeah. LED <laughs> tendons in your pots. <laughs> Shine. I scar this for a man. <laughs> and once you've got your little zips in place, if you are still stressing, you can even come in with a little bit of Tombow green, uh, Tombow blue, and pop it on just to give it a little bit of wiggle move or wiggle time. But what I'm going to do now, and it doesn't matter which way you place it for now because you can turn it around. I'm going to position my inner cover. And once I'm happy, unzip it properly, much like I've just done now. So my piece of tape is broken, which is not great. Unzip. And then you can just lift it. Uh -uh. I'm just showing you the meaning of that. <laughs> That's on me, eh? <laughs> and then just quickly unzip. <laughs> and because you have anchored it along the top, it's not going to go anywhere. I can't, I'm going to unzip you this. Unzip it from the top. So I've unzipped it there. Okay. And then you can just drop it down and stick. And because you've unzipped it and you've anchored it in the corner. It should fit pretty perfectly. That is very neat. And easy. Well, a lot of your mini albums, you like to leave sort of like white borders or black cardstock borders. Would you just size that down? For in, in what way? So your edges, you edge with like a white or a black cardstock on a lot of albums. Um, I normally make my base album out of cardstock. Card it's stock. a little bit more forgiving than pattern paper. It is a bit more forgiving. So I normally I'd use, I'd use a plain cardstock and then I decorate with pattern paper. Okay. okay, and once you've done that, you can just put your hand at your thumb on one side, hands on the other side, and literally just fold it over. Magic. Black like magic. And you've got your outside of your album. And then if you want to, you can come in carefully and just using the back of your scoring tool, do not use the tip because if you break through that, you can't repair it too easily. Guys, aren't we clever? And that's your outside of your album so complete. Thank you. <laughs> Superstar. I never make many albums, okay? It's like I don't do them. I love her albums. But these are gorgeous. So like I said, it's the neatest album I've ever made. <laughs> and they're super, super simple. It's like so simple to make. And it's such an awesome gift. We're not having any questions or requests to slow down. Yeah, they can't enjoy it. Yeah. They're following. Yeah. I watched your video, but I didn't get it like exactly like I got it now. Yeah. Oh, well, step by step. Yeah, the step by step. This is easier. And this is very we've, uploaded, very we've uploaded the videos <laughs> on how to do it. I've also put the step by step video. I think honestly, the whole weekend, this is bad. This is it's, the best bad. It's like it's, this is all, but this weekend is amazing. I mean, where do you get Thank a weekend you. with so many projects? It's so many amazing teachers. And I oh know the teachers are the <laughs> best. <laughs> and the product you're working with is just fantastic. The product you're yeah. <laughs> so okay. sure. Natasha just showed a photo of her. She's just really impressed. Well done, <laughs> Natasha. Oh, okay. I mean, you should so, seriously make another, every class could make an album or you two. Could. Yeah. 
because you could just use your you could use a bit of cardstock or some craft or whatever i tend to not use craft because it's a bit heavy so it doesn't it doesn't hold as well but if you put a little bit of cardstock in you could use your packing paper and you could make heaps of them beautiful little christmas gifts okay so we're going to put that to the side and, and a note from our sponsor the celebrate textures pack <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right. So because um normally we would use we'd have um eight use uh what sixteen we'd have sixteen pages we're only going to do eight today. So you need the biggest one and so there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four in size. You're going to be working with one and three. And if I remember correctly, one and three were the good numbers, weren't they? Or was it two and four? It was two and four. Two and four got double beds. Odd numbers. I mean, even numbers. Two and four got double beds. <laughs> Michelle's bed. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you at home, the unit that the ladies are staying is a three bedroom unit. Whoopsies. And um, yeah, obviously there's four of them. So the one room has two single beds. So they had to just guess a number and I'd written down which bed they were getting. So And two and four were the lucky numbers. Two and four were the lucky numbers. So, so Michelle from Bank and Sandy are bunking together. <laughs> And Michelle's bed creaks like it sounds like she's lying on boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and every time she moves, it goes like. That would make you snore. And that's just the fact of all sorts of getting my throat. <laughs> and then last night, they had a slumber party on my bed. It was yeah, so much yeah. fun. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. You can, you never ever be too old to miss out on this or to have, to not, or to have a slumber party. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I think before Michelle gets hold of us, we probably we need to move on. Okay. Probably need to move on. <laughs> <laughs> We're right. getting quite a few photos coming through. And people Thank are no bubbling way. She's actually asking for no bubbling way. No bubbling <laughs> way. From Vashi <laughs> Singh. Yeah. Oh, Vash. Go, Vashi. All right. So we're going to work with this first piece. We are going to leave it. We're not going to cut it down. And we're just going to score at 10 and a half centimeters. Is this the big one, Sandy? Yeah, the big one. Big the one. Biggest one the thing. biggest one. So I'll label oh, this one as big. Oh, three and Sandy. We we just with? quickly repeat the craft sheet. Okay, the so craft, craft sheets, sheets come out of your mini album pack. You have four sheets. You're going to be working with one, which is the biggest one, at 20. I think it's 24. I just want to double check the size. They came out of here. Yeah. 24 and a half. 24 and a half. And then we're working with the, uh, I'm just trying to find it because I did include it in the, oh, there, from your mini album kit to MA7001, you'll use the largest page, which is 24,5, this one. And then you'll use the one measuring 22,5, but we're actually going to cut this one down a bit. So this is the biggest one. And we are scoring at 10 and a half. And then we're just going to flip it. So we'll turn it around, 180, and we're going to score it 10 and a half. Okay, I'll do that again. So the biggest one is 24 and a half centimeters, we're scoring at 10 and a half, giving it a 180, and scoring at 10 and a half. Oh, I went through now. That's not great. Okay. It's a thousand extra. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> then this the second piece you're going to just trim down to 22 centimeters. The long one. The long, the, long one. Yeah. Uh, no, the third one. Third one down. You'll see it's 22 centimeters, and we're just going to cut. Sorry, it's 22 and a half. You're going to cut it down to. 22. 23 and a half. You've, got the, you've got the second one. You want the third one down. You just want to cut them out. Two are identical. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> then you've got an extra. No, mine is here. Okay. You've got a bonus. There's three. Four. Yeah. Four. Yeah. I'll just cut it down to that. 
to 22. Okay, so you literally are cutting a smidgen off, it's half a centimeter. And then you're going to pop that on your scoreboard and it's going to score at 10 and a half. See, this is because I haven't got my favorite score. Either. And turn it around and again, score at 10 and a half. So you've got your distance between here is one, two, three and a half centimeters. And this one's just a centimeter. So the beauty of this little stack, the deck system, <clears throat> Is it's 10 and a half centimeters on the other side? Is it like standard? No, it will vary. The only reason it's 10 and a half on these is so that it fits on a 30,5 centimeter page. It's a standard on the celebrate. Yeah, yeah whereas if you're doing like the more complicated if you're doing the hidden and hinge or the hidden and hinge plus or one of those you're changing your score lines are changing all the time this one literally to put in this album you're doing ten and a half so it's ten and a half from this ten and a half from that ten Michelle and a half. Nettling asked if she was to put in the extra page where would she score it at? It's always 10 and a half. It will always be 10 and a half from the outside. And if she was putting in an extra page, I would make that page. Um, it would be. It is, it's two and a half inches. So pretty much, I would probably cut it to. Um, so it's going to be an unusual yeah. because it's centimeters. If, if, if Michelle, yeah. Michelle, Michelle can figure it out, she's so. I'll yeah, tell you. Very no, but I'll tell you what you could do, Michelle, is just revert back to the original and use yeah. the four pages. Yeah, and you would score them all, all the at 10, ten and a half still. So yeah. So you would revert to these measurements, and then you would add in two extra pages, which give you an extra, an extra um eight pages. Yeah. And if you wanted to, I would probably leave out the very middle one because yeah. then it gives you a bit of space in the middle to add bits and pieces to. Okay, can we head on? Yes. Bang. Tabulous. Oh. Right. So now we're going to assemble our pages. And with craft, you've got a light sort of wheaty color. And then on the other side, it's a slightly different color. It doesn't show up here too well, but actually are different colors. There you can see, you've got two different colors. So what I normally do is I decide which way I'm going to have the page. And I try and put the two colors that are the same together. Wow. So meaning that one's going to go down and one's going to go down, one's going to go up. Can you see the two different colors? So when you open, you've got the colors together. Okay. And I'm going to use start off with my six mil tape so i'm going to take the top one i've decided that that's the way i wanted to go don't worry too much about these four lines for now and i'm going to pop a piece of six mil tape in there i'm not doing my thicker tape because tape is going to stick out on either side so this is the piece was there i flipped it over and i'm putting tape on this side are you putting tape on the <laughs> side that's going to be stuck down or on the side that's going to be stuck down here and then you can just fold it so it's going on the tape the side that's going to be stuck down There it is there. It's going to make like a little U. Okay. And then this one again, I'm going to flip it over because I'm going to stick this side down. And now I'm going to pop thicker tape in there, whatever makes your heart happy, use. And I'm going to stick my tape right close to the score line. I'm not going over the score line, but I'm close to it. One thing for those girls who use undo, unstick it, if you make a mistake, whatever craft doesn't like it. Yeah. So once, if you've stuck it incorrectly, 
you can't use undo or unstick it on that. The craft just will, it will not stick again. So what I'm doing here as well is I've done a 12 mil, a 12 mil, and a six mil in the middle. Okay. And to that, I'm just gonna fold this four. And this is your chance for you to straighten up the pages if they're a little bit off. I can use a scoring tool and straighten up. This one, the pages are still the same and a half, the same size, that's the 10 and a half, but your spine has got a bit wider. And that really is the concept of this album. The whole album. You, you're Stacking. keeping the outer the same, but changing the spine. You're keeping your page size the same, yes. you're just increasing your spine. Yeah. So it's called basically stack the deck because you're just stacking on top. It's quite a clever concept. Okay, can we move ahead? Yeah. Once you've done that, I literally just eyeball this one in place. So I remove, I make my little zip. And then if you and want to measure, on, yeah. Just quickly for a few then, just repeat the score lines again. Okay, so onto my scoreboard. Remember the smaller one we cut down, let me just put it straight, so. The smaller one we cut down to 22 centimeters. We've scored at 10 and a half centimeters, then done a 180 and 10 and a half centimeters. So we have got 10 centimeters, 10 and a half to that line and 10 and a half to that score line. Then we pop that one down. We took our big one. We scored at 10 and a half centimeters, 90 degrees and 10 and a half centimeters. So that our pages are all 10 and a half centimeters, but our spine is increased in width to give us the space we need. And then we take in there. For those who really like to measure everything, I don't. Um, I suppose you can use your board to help you. If you pop it on your board, there should be just over a centimeter on either side from that side and from that side so i make my little zip line it up and i eyeball it in place like so push down because i've got that little zip then i can simply fold it over i have myself on the wrong side for me and pull out. That means well, that you've got your album, the base of your album, and it's ready to go. Look like that. Literally, we're going to stick this in a moment. Let me do it So, some of you have almost finished creating your first mini album, and it wasn't that bad, was it? Hopefully, not. We're now going to attach the page bundle to our album. And I probably could have chosen a plainer page because it probably would have made your life a bit easier, but why would I do that? I mean, that's just ridiculous. So, we're going to now have to eyeball the page position in our mini. So if you have a look carefully on your album, you're gonna see where your um, spine, the cracks on your spine are, and you're gonna land up, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting <laughs> our pages down like so, and sticking it down. 
making sure you've got about a, a centimeter gap on either side and about probably about two and a half, three centimeters. I'm not great with centimeters, so I'll measure. Yeah, about three centimeters on either side, so three centimeters and then roughly a centimeter. And I'll show you how I do it. I remove that thin piece of tape, I take the whole piece off. Okay, so the, the piece of release tape in the middle, I release the entire piece. And then I make a little zip because while looking tough, a little zip from the bottom and a little zip at the top. And the reason I don't do the two zips at the same time is it means it's going to be a lot of tape ex uh, exposed at the bottom. So I do a little one at the top, a little one at the bottom. I will it in place. And because this release tape is here and you've got this little fold, this piece won't stick until you've given it some pressure. So I will it roughly three. And you can use your board if you like. So I'm going to eyeball it in place. There's my three centimeter line. I put it on the edge here, like so. And once I'm happy with the position, if I just give it a decent press down like so, that little piece of tape that was in the middle will adhere and I can lift up and remove my tape, lift up, and remove the tape from the other side and press down and our album is complete. We've done our base album and it's good. And we're ready to go. And we can have tea or coffee. I actually see Verma and Pietro, they're busy making coffee in the background. So I think we should all go grab a cup of coffee. Give us a wave, Verma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so go grab a cup of coffee and we'll be back in five minutes. Sandy will stick around unless you need to move. Sandy will stick around and so you can ask her some questions, just unmute yourself and feel free to ask questions or chat on the WhatsApp group. I shall be here. I'm going to turn the camera. I will just get the WhatsApp group open. Have you all made your first the base of your first mini album because no, now no. this is the easiest part once you've done this now you can make your own albums you can change them up you can get creative you can do whatever you want so i think i can go home now <laughs> hell no job done job done oh. done the hard part <laughs> any questions unmute yourself unmute yourself for a chat I'm really weak. Wow. Good one. <laughs> would, you, um, would you chalk those? Well, I mean, whilst we're sitting here, would you chalk them or are we pasting paper over all of them? I don't chalk anything. So if you would like to chalk them, you're welcome to, but I never ever will. Oh, but you're pasting paper you're gonna, over yeah. most of the pages. That's what I'm saying. Is it going to cover everything or should you? It won't no. cover everything. Let me show you. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Wrong camera. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to see a little bit. Okay. You are going to see a little bit of the craft sticking up, but I don't find the craft offensive at all. And it works, it works with every single range because it's okay. so bland, because it's neutral. so neutral. Yeah. It works, it just works. So, okay. yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a, a really simple pocket like really easy pockets, but not the pocket where you just stick tape around the outside. So I'll teach you a pocket that we, um, you can put stuff inside. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do, you ladies, I'm gonna show you how to do a really simple little pop-up. And the last thing that I'm gonna do that's maybe a little bit different is the, the little fountain. moving waterfall, the waterfall. Ah, uh, fountain waterfall, really close. <laughs> oh, did you say fountain? That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy, yes. Sandy, it's Renelle here. Um, Hello, Renelle. I missed something there. Have we now put down all four of the pages of the cardstock? Just two. We used two. We used the biggest one that okay. was twenty-four comma five centimeters, and then we used the third one down, which was twenty-two comma five, which we cut down to twenty-two yeah. centimeters. 
And the reason we did that was so that we could get almost as well. We've got a centimeter in the middle of this one, which means we could add our ribbon. Okay. 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 So we've still got two pieces. You've got two pieces oh, left. So you can, yeah, you can make another mini album. Yeah, you could almost yeah okay. you could almost make a, a whole mini album the only thing is your um, your pages would be a little bit smaller okay but another thing with the craft i mean you can use those craft make incredible tags you really can make lovely tags and stuff with craft Tech, yeah so while we are sitting here i used the stencil and I did a bit of stenciling on the back just because I wanted to use it. And what did and you color it with? I used just my chalks, my over it. Yeah, I just <laughs> literally to take the white off. Um, to show clothes and take a uh, photo because that's lovely. Yeah. Uh, that stencil is incredible. So. I just want to go home and make a book with my leftover food because mm. there's so much left over. You inspired me, Cinderella. Oh, mini albums are so much fun. I love mm. making them. They make me happy. They do. And now they're getting a little bit more complicated with the big yes. ones that I do. are starting to get a bit more complicated. So the challenge so they, is it is. Awesome. So you can sit Something there cool. and you can use your mats and you can do like mm. change up sizes or look for ideas and then alter the ideas. I mean, they, there are loads of mini album ladies online. There's, um, what's her name? I can't even think. Shelly Gargle, she offers free tutorials. Shelly Gargle offers free, a lot of the American girls, well, obviously, all the American girls work in inches. Um, there's, what's the other, the other girl's name? I'm just going to Google. I'm old now, I forget things. <laughs> Listen, I'm headed there. Oh, a whole two weeks in here, over the hill, Laura. At least you're on top of the hill. If you just Google mini album ideas, you're going to get tons of ladies who, who do mini albums oh thanks Ennis. rosa kelly also offers free um free mini albums she uses a slightly different hinge system oh. um rosa kelly yeah, does easy. loads of stuff online mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Elsie. Mm -hmm. It's that's really it's easy and good to follow. And they get free stuff. Um, there's a lady called her YouTube channel is called Your Book of Memories. She also does some really some nice ideas, but most of the ideas come in the decorating. They don't come in the, in the construction. So most ladies is more for the construction side than the dec uh, sorry the decorating side. There are a couple who do the pop ups in the construction. If you watch on YouTube, because that's where I was watching a few, and it just picks up. That's what you're into. And uh, there's awesome. some amazing ladies from India that don't even speak like yes. English, but what they can create. There, and, there's one lady who I like to follow from India named Shruti Patel. Oh, she's and she's, she is amazing. She does all her pop-ups and stuff. Yes, and she often, I look at her pop-ups and then I alter them to fit. But well, yeah. they're not her pop-ups. Those pop-ups have been around for a hundred years. So any pop-up you find in a mini album is not a particular person's pop-up. All we're doing as mini album creators are creating them so that they fit our albums. Really. Oh, the same the layout, yeah. So converting it's, it to fit layout. Yeah, you're converting it to fit in the album and you're putting it in a specific order. I mean, the last one, the one that I did with Alice, I had a pop-up box that as you pull the box out, the box pops up. I mean, oh. there's some really cool ideas that you can find out there. And then sometimes you just adapt them to work for what you wanting them to do. So all so cool. And they're really nice. I love a mini album because it's fine art. Once it's full, it's full. Mm -hmm. And also they're amazing for holidays. Um, my husband and I were due to go overseas last year on the 7th of April. And they closed the border on the 
March. Yeah. March. Yeah. The 20, I think it was the 28th of March or the 27th yeah. of March, and we literally picked up our visas the day before, two days before. Aww. And for that trip, I actually had already got my Smashbook ready. I had my travel book all pre-made. And then what I do when we go overseas, because I'm um, my stepson and now my stepdaughter as well, and my brother and my aunt and half my family live over there. What I do is I take my selfie printer with me. I make a Smashbook. I take my little box of needful tools. So I've got a knife, a ruler, um, a small scoreboard, and I take my stuff with me, a little cutting mat, because you can't buy them, they're too expensive. So those always go into my bag. And then as we're going along, you've always got time when you're a little bit bored um, and you're not out sightseeing or doing whatever, especially if you're visiting family. And you, um, um, I just take out my scrapping, and I sit wherever, especially if I'm on my brother's farm in Wales, where there's not much to do. And I pull it out and I do my smash book. So by the time I get home, I've journaled our whole holiday. Can you come with me on my holiday? <laughs> <laughs> and it's really cool because as teachers, the girls know, as teachers, when you get back, you've like you've been away for three weeks to a month, or, and you don't have that time to sit and do your own holiday projects because you're back into like trying to get projects out of the shop and whatever. So it's such a cool way to sort out your holiday photos. And before you forget. Yeah, I do the, I take little tags with me and I just do the tags as we go. Awesome. So my album says 2020 mm. and then I change it to 21 and I'm going oh, to change shit. it to 22. Now Kerry Gurney done that the last celebrate oh, event. She also had a little smash book and she had a little insect yeah. camera print. Mm. And every time we got back to the flats in the evening, she would stick her photos and do a journey. Then. So for the girls who don't know what a so smash cute. book is, literally, as you're going, you've got cool little pens. I've got, I've actually got one here with me. A little pokey pen, and it's got a glue on the other the one end. It's got a pokey on the other, obviously the pokey on the one side. And as you go, you like glue, stick all your ticket stubs. You take them and you just kind of awesome. stick them into, yes. smash them in your book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. smash them. The book you've made. I make the book, yeah, to, to work with whatever I'm doing for that particular holiday. Your class, and then we all come make our smash books ready for our holiday. For your that holiday. We might go on one year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Kerry Gurney used to also, um, I think she saw that when she travels, she has a blunt nose pair of scissors that you can get through airport security. Oh. And then she I've does her fun cutting in yeah, the airplane. I thought we weren't allowed to, but I'm definitely going to invest in a little pair so of you, a little pair of ceramic scissors. Yeah, so you get um, the Laura Hannah and the Kerry Gurneys of the world. They get away with a lot. <laughs> I've crashed on the plane. I took Laura to the shops and the shops were closed. The doors were just closing. And I thought, well, if anybody's going to get into spa once it's closed, it's Laura. And she did. She got in. Got <laughs> with, her with her slippers. With her slippers. Oh, with my slippers. And it me to dinner in pink dotted slippers. I wasn't wow. too bad. Fun nice. wow. And she has the cheek to call me bossy. <laughs> 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 Michelle, they made me go to dinner. There was a 21st, there was a 24th, there was a 30th. No, it was a and second. I'm from, yeah, <laughs> and I'm from the bus run till I'm in my pantoffles. I just needed curlers in my head. <laughs> you could have left your teeth at home. Yeah, and I left my teeth at home. For real. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I was keeping these arms. You can't do my teeth. Is that not ridiculous? I mean, third degree burns, he must just put his arms straight. He just must have bend them and make my tea. <laughs> I have a story to share. I go for it. Um, I kept, um, I made many albums which I had journaled extensively. Uh, my family has done over 15,000 kilometers of road trips in South Africa, um, specializing in the quirky, like the big pineapple or the uh, oh. Maui. And my daughter's now going to matric and she's looking as a class where to go to. And I just took my little albums out on Thursday night and we ended up spending hours going through Oh, I can't believe your hair looked like that. Um, can't believe I was so small and all the beautiful places 
it do get seen. Awesome. Yeah. It does make a difference. Yeah. Yep. And, and also with little mini albums, we use them as, as coffee table books almost at home. So they're sitting on the coffee table. If you walk in, you can pick them up. You can have a look at them. You can remember those. Like Obviously, it refreshes your memory and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they just, yeah, I love them. Instead of trying to grab my big 12 by 12 album that's so heavy. Um, yeah, we've got little ones. Are we good to go? Yeah, it's been 10 minutes. So I think, I think we're good. So. Okay, we're going to now get onto the inside. So we're going to be making all the little um, flips and flaps and um, pockets and stuff. And they really, they're much easier than they look. Uh, so we're going to make this first pocket, which is on the front here. So, oopsie, that wasn't clever. This first pocket. Sorry, I'm just showing Erin as well. <laughs> we're going to make this first little pocket here. And I, I was going to do like all the cutting, but I think it's easier just to do one at a time. Can I ask you just to give me 30 seconds? Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies, just bear with me for a few seconds. The mini album's a lot smaller than a, a scrapbook page, so I'm going to try to drop the camera a bit. He's screwing. He's got camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm going to free. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't take a quick move. Then I didn't have oh, to. That's so cool. Dennis is the man. Oh, awesome. So we're going to start. That's Your much better. Clever, baby. So we're going to start and we're going to make this little pocket. So remember in the beginning, we had off cuts from the covers. I want you to go and grab an off cut. How are we going to make it? You don't taste, we just make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll move it over now. So we actually. There we go. We're going to be doing C, which is part of PP8031, which is part of the textures range. And we're cutting it to 13 centimeters by 9 centimeters. And if I remember correctly, because whenever I work on an album, I use all the little leftovers. So you'll see you will need, I thought that was the right size, but it's not going to be. Um, we're going to cut this one to 13, 13 centimeters by nine centimeters, and I will put it up for you. Have you talked to This is PC. And it's 13 centimeters by nine centimeters. You feel the comment from the back. Mm. You need your scoreboard because we are going to be scoring at one centimeter. And 12 centimeter, which centimeters on the 13 centimeter side. So it means that your piece of paper must cover up to 13 centimeters, right? So you're scoring at one and at 12 centimeters on the 13 centimeter side. Once you've done that, you're going to turn 90 degrees and you're going to score at eight centimeters on the nine centimeter side. So it's quite, sorry, it's quite hard to see. I've scored one centimeter, one centimeter, and one centimeter. But this side, there's no score line at all. 
you can pop your school book to the side and you need tape. I'm going to work now with my six mil tape. The reason I'm <laughs> Laura's working with her six mil too because have. she doesn't have anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm doing six mil is because of this being only at um, a 10 mil. The 10 mil tape is too big and so is the 12 mil tape. So it's weird. We're going to pop tape along in that Quite one centimeter. I don't do the end because we're going to hack those yeah. corners off. So we're going to pop the six mil and I'm popping it against the edge so that it sticks down nicely on the sides. Don't worry too much about the inside piece. And right up against the edge, the edge of, the score, of right? the score line. You want the score line. So when you fold it over like that, you don't want any tape sticking out. Okay, so the tape is just to the outside of the score line. And this is where I'm going to use my mouth and the jig again. Yay. <laughs> I'm just snap her sure. sure. I just slap my legs. I'm old, you know. Moment. You have to remind me of Over these 50, things. Downhill. Over 50, it's downhill. Downhill from here, all the way. Next, I'm ready for the retirement village because I'll be over 55. Oh. That's scary. I don't know. I want to play bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could be quite a job. <laughs> right. So we're going to matter the corners. We're going to the top two corners here, just from the score line, mattering out. Are we not using my tool? We're going it's to. So we're going to use it next. All right. See. So the matter. I'm showing Laura quickly. The matter here, if you have a look on the screen, see from the score line, I've just cut the tiniest of matter. And this here on your matter majig is almost uh, that angle. I've just got to get this in the right place. So this has got to be level there. Okay, so your matter on the top is small. And the reason we put these matters in here is so that when you fold and you stick your pocket down, you don't see that little piece of cardstock or the card sticking out, pattern mm -hmm. paper sticking out at the top. So that little matter there does not have to be a, a deep matter, it just mm -hmm. can be a small one. The bottom one is a different, different kettle of fish. So has right. anybody got a white gel pen on there, Michelle? Yeah. You must have one, Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And what I, I just want to draw on here so you can see. There's my score line there. And the lines are going to intersect, right? Okay, can you see that? I'm going to put a little mark, a, a bigger dot in the corner. And then I'm going to come in with my Martin Jake. And I'm going to place those two. So like just the line. The lines, the two. onto the score line and when my depth just put that little dot that you could see maybe a little bit bright or a little bit um darker how can it be dark when it's white brighter brighter, brighter. where it's a little bit brighter so my engraved line is there i'm just going to cut and what that's going to do is when i fold it in perfect. it's going to give me the perfect corner you clever dolphin fish. You. Such a clever dolphin fish. <laughs> I generally work on the back of my page for the simple reason that my tape is on my paper already and it's quite, quite slippery. And I put the tape on first because I like the tape to be mounted as well. So I'll do another one here for you. I haven't got, uh, here we go. I'm going to just pin it in so that you can see. There's my my little dot so where the lines intersect okay here we go where the lines intersect i'm popping my mountain majig on it you can just turn it around just don't cut please. i'm not going to cut i'm going to show them without yeah. it yeah and then i would cut through now for those girls who don't have a mountain majig 
because not everyone was created equal and has a mountain of joke. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do it. You can either use your scissors and just sort of pick up your scissors and make sure you cut through this intersection. Or if you really, really want to, you can do your ruler, pop your ruler down and through the intersection again, cut the corner off. And you should still get a reasonably perfect corner each time. Okay, so they, those are the two options. So you don't have to have a mountain jig, but it does make your life easier. So we've mounted the top two, and then we've mounted through the intersection here, so that when we fold it up, we have got perfectly mounted corners. Very cool. And then we're simply going to take that and add it to our album, which I'll show you how to do now. Make sure that your album is the right way up now because your paper's got directionality. It's moving this way, so make sure your writing is upwards before we start adding in. Can you pockets. repeat that? Because We're all I've seen people make that, make that mistake many times. All right, so make sure now, from now on, you need to know which is up and which is down. Another thing I often do when I'm doing these little albums is I actually go through and just very lightly mark the pages, especially when they're 16. Yes, that's quite smart, eh? <laughs> so just very, very lightly, somewhere in your on your, your mini, just mark your pages. And we're now ready to stick it down. You can choose to stick it wherever you want to. You can have it sticking. You can go right close to the bottom or you can go further up. I like to kind of have mine in line so that when the page is... Um, Okay. When the page is open, it's level with the base of the page. So to show you how to do it quickly, a simple way so the girls who get all or they're like me and they knock everything. Okay. I do the same. I do my little zip. Check that it works, that it's in the right place. Eyeball it. And when I'm happy, stick down. So it must cover. You mustn't see it. You want, no, you will see it when it's okay. open. You don't want to be over the hinge, over the fold. Make sure okay. that you're not over the fold. If you're over the fold, okay, so here, if you're over the fold, you're going to have a problem. Okay. So it needs to be equidistant from the fold. Because it has a big word. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And now that's the, the book at the bottom. That, yeah. That's KZM for you. <laughs> <laughs> equidistant. equidistant. And quickly, before I finish sticking that down so that I don't see the white, I'm just going to give a little bit of chalk on the top. And yep, it's posh. It's posh. Okay. Yeah, I told you, I'm the queen from King's Barra. From the Barra. From the Barra, which is not posh at all. Sandy, I'm from like Finland, <laughs> and I'm married into a family from Hilton in Cape Hilton, Bay. darling, Hilton. Hilton. And it took me a long Hilton. time to understand what they were saying. <laughs> the language is very different. <laughs> to this day, he still mocks my mother. Uh, the pronunciation is so proper. <laughs> okay, so I've stuck the bottom down. And once I'm happy, because then I can, once I'm happy, <laughs> once I'm happy with the positioning, I can then remove the rest and I know that it's not going to move at all. And it's, yeah, we're going to get our pocket in the perfect spot. Done. See, just made your first pocket and how easy was that? Mm. The pocket is big enough that you can actually put stuff inside because if you do the very simple pocket where you just do tape mm. around the edge, you have a problem trying to put stuff inside. Um, yeah, so this is perfect. Okay, easy. Do I need to wait? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody need a hand? Tells me my fingerprint doesn't match. Well, whose fingerprint is it? It's the same one that was here half an hour ago. She has something on it. <laughs> you could have glue or something covering your fingerprint. It happened to me all day yesterday. In fact, no, it's just this phone. Okay, we're good to go. We can carry on. Yeah. Can you show us that pocket on the 
finished albums of this when you see how you decorated it. Very good. So I've got the little cameras raised a little, and then I used the little chippies over here, and behind this little chippy, I put a um, acetate, and I just stuck that down with double sided tape. Yeah. And then in here, I put a little bit of glue with some um, glitter. These were the, uh, from the, what do you call them, Lara? What's it? The journal page. Yeah. Is it like journal card? The journal card. <laughs> and then also, I just cut out the, the little, I love to say, cheese and, and tucked it just behind. Oh, stick that in. Yeah, you can do that now if you want, or you can do it later. I have uploaded photos of each page. And videos. Yeah. And videos. So we're going to just do the flaps. And the we're going to do the flaps, flaps, flaps yeah. Flaps sort of and stuff. if we've got time, we can come back and do it. Cool. Okay. So next up, we're getting on to this flap, which is actually really, really simple. We're going to get on with this flap, and then I've given you the measurement for this piece later, but we're going to just do the flap to start with. Pop that there, move it to the side. We are doing piece D1. So you know that we don't get 39 comma five. Okay. Oh, sorry, it should be 39 comma five. Gremlin Krypton. All right, so we're doing this one. <laughs> I have gremlins at home. I don't know what they do. Mine still scissors. No, mine does, because they page four. It's a very similar one, and it's also 39 comma 5, and I copied and paste. So I don't know how we got done. Um, yeah. I give up. So you're looking for piece um, PP6601, which is the pink one that looks like so. <laughs> yeah, so 39 comma 5 should be 29. I will change it. It also says on the 30 centimeter side. It was definitely a gremlin there. I think I'm just, I may have uploaded after I saved and corrected these subjects. They're listening to you. Yeah. And so cut 39, doesn't matter. Cut it short. They can't cut 39. Then there's a miracle going on there. All righty. So this piece is D1 and it's 29,5 centimeters by 14 centimeters. But of the 14, are, we, are you going to cut it now? I thought I missed it. Yet. No, I haven't cut it yet. We're going to obviously have the camera. We want the camera on. So we're just going to remove our release tape and we're going to put it in our barcode. And we're going to put it in our Pringle. Pringle. Or oh, I'll put mine in my Woolly spot. Woolly 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So She's just like Woolly tomorrow. Woolly 7 today. Woolly Brissy. And we're so, going to cut this one to 14 centimeters. <laughs> um, this piece that's left over. You can cut your 10 comma 5 by 14 centimeters if I show you the album. That's the piece there. 10 by 14 comma 5. It's 10 by 14 comma 5. And then we put it in the bank. Put it in your bank, yeah. So literally you're going to cut the 10. And I just want to meet some of my edges here. It's weird. Whenever I cut these little pieces, I always think, gee, they're so small. And then you put it in the album and it fits perfectly. So I've got those two. This one I'm just going to pop to the side. This one is going to cover what I need once I've done the um, hinge. And this one I'm cutting down to 29,5. So the longer piece twenty nine comma five by fourteen, yep. and the smaller one ten by fourteen. I'll upload it now. 
So we're obviously going to score it. Right. We are going to score. This is D2. And this is 10. She's love. Yes, please. Okay, those are the two that we're cutting. I'll do, I'll take a photo. Let's just uh, say. And you need your scoreboard. I'm absolutely devastated that I've left my. My, my, I know because it fits in the groove so much nicer. This one I find tends to. This one's. It's not. Nice. No, no, because then you don't have one. Yeah. 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 I put that here. Should I try that? What hmm. Let's go again for it. No. Actually, yeah. actually, no. Right. Okay. Probably works better than that one. So we're putting our 29,5 centimeter at the top. Okay, so there's the paper, there's 29 and a half centimeters. And we're going to score at one centimeter. At 10 and a half centimeters. And at 20 centimeters. At one. At one. At ten and a half centimeters, and at twenty centimeters, one, ten and a half, and twenty. Okay, I don't laugh because we're doing it the other way. So then I just add the one to so eleven. And how much is your back? No, for those that are doing it on their trimmers, mm -hmm. you oh. can't do it. Like, you know, maybe just guide those that are doing it on their trimmers and not on the scoreboard. And what? because some people don't even have a because obviously you have to turn it around. Oh, you can't. flip it. Oh gosh. Okay. So you would be scoring at one. I don't do it on there. I'll just push it from there. It's so what? easy. You, your gap is nine and a half centimeters. So that will make it ten and a half. Yeah. Okay. So it will be one. Yeah. It will be ten and a half. So it will be, yeah, you need a nine. From the other side, I don't know, I've never used it. Is it okay. nine and a half the gap? The gap is nine and a half centimeters. So between each one, you should have a centimeter, then you should have nine and a half, nine and a half, and nine and a half. So it's just the one. One, the one side, centimeter. Then ten and a half. If you take your um, your trimmer, all that you do is you uh, move it so that first of all you see your one, and then you move it a little bit up. Yeah. Could you see? No, yeah. Then you move it so that it's ten and all. Yeah. So you'll have it at ten from there yes. to that your score line will be ten and a half, and then your next one will be twenty. So it pretty it should pretty much work the same. Yeah. 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 Working that way. Oh, you're working yeah. from this yeah. side. So you're working from nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, nine, eighteen, nineteen. And twenty-eight and a half. Yeah. The good news, Sandy, is nobody on the at home was bad. It's just the oh, three teachers here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Julie. I was like, trying to imagine my baby for five months. But Sandy, if people are going to do mini albums seriously, a scoreboard is. If, if they're doing mini albums, they need a scoreboard. Mm -hmm. And if you, this, the one that I've got here is the adorable. It's got centimeters on one side, inches on the other side. Because if you're doing international classes, you need inches. Um, I don't use this one as much. I find the grooves too deep. So you often mix up your paper. I like the, like the Martha Stewart, but they're not available. Juliet's got a Martha Stewart. This is like the one. Mom. The bomb, but it's only inches. I use a score power and that's in centimeters. It doesn't even want to. Cameras don't like Martha Stewart. The camera doesn't like the Martha Stewart. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I do. Camera's got no class. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because I was in school. Well, for the majority yeah. that don't have a scoring tool, 
um, if they just do that, they must just also um, do it with a little pencil. They can yeah, and real, a real and pencil. The kitchen yeah. 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 scoreboard the kitchen. is basically the same as the one. Yes. Kitchen. And I think it also has sentiments on, on one. On the yeah. top. So it's it's basically the same as this. Yeah. Anyway, so let's press on. We're going to put tape in that one centimeter area. We're going to put, I'm using my six mil okay. tape. We're doing it on the right side. In the one centimeter area created by the school lights, I'm going to show you. There it is. There, there's my one centimeter. There's my ten and a half. I'll put a little picture on, and this basically is we are creating, we creating a hinge. We created a little hinge, and what we're going to do with that? Is we're just going to fold it over because that's what's going to attach. Like so. And then we can start folding up. A little concertina fold, super, super easy. I've noticed there's like a whole lingo with many albums. Yeah. There is a name for specific. Like a hymn. Well, my one uses the word equidistance. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole nother uh, language. <laughs> it's new. It's, yeah. Why are you girls? Oh, but you, think you, 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 you talk about belly. What belly? Belly bass. Belly bass. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we talk you about him. We talk yeah. about belly bass. Not belly bass. Belly bass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And once you've created your little concertina oh. fold, Okay, little concertina. We're going to stick it in our album, but before I do that, because I'm being posh today, I'm just going to quickly chalk around the edges, and I know I'm using wheat, but it literally is just to take the, the white off. I'm going to have to stop using my poshest language. These girls are teasing me. <laughs> <laughs> but do the not do have like a posh way of talking? Like you live by the mountain, but you don't. No, the speaks very posh. No, but you let that to speak posh like Sandy. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't say equidistant. Okay, and then we're going to just add it into our mini album. I'm going on to page one. And again, we're doing equidistant top and bottom. Because now I've taught the girls a new word. I have to say, fold the flap inwards. So now I must say, use the hinge. Use the hinge. Inwards. It's a hinge. And there's our page. <laughs> it could be, okay, closer. So there's no gap on the left. No, because our, we're going to come in with this, which is going to hide it. So we need to be close to the left hand side so that we can come in with our little pink piece. So let's just again before the okay. pink piece. There. There. Because we are doing it upside down, eh? I'll right? show you. Oh, there's a little bit of a gap. Little bit of a gap. And poor um Erin's doing it skew upside down. Skew, skew, man. Oh, skew. And once you've done that, you can come in with your piece D and you can pop it over the top. And basically all piece D is doing is it's hiding your hinge attachment. And again, I'm chalking. North. Yeah. Remember that. Ach, not. You can use glue, you can use tape, use whatever makes you happy. I'm going to use tape because I've got it here. A paint is done. Just mm -hmm. like that. Just like that. It's like, it's like magic. Magic, magic. Magic, magic. Mm. If I was working from home, I probably would have just glued it. But you're being posh now. I mean, posh. And also, the painters were in the room, so I couldn't get all this done. <laughs> so I'm going to blame the painters. 
but I do have beautiful ceilings now. And you'll see I use my little um, zips again. Makes my life easy because I'm probably one of the clumsiest people you've ever met. And that stuff down. Easy peasy. Here's your first page. And decorate when you're ready. Yes. How many does how many photos does the whole thing hold? I think it was about I didn't want to seem to think around 30, two, four, six, seven, and then you can put it at the, the back of, of those, which was another four, so that's eleven. That's just on page one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then on here you've got another four, eight. 12 and you could put a little photo there so 13 and then on this one um we've got tags and you could obviously add more tags i think it's way more than 15. Yeah. so what did we say for the first one 16, yeah, 16, 16, yeah. And then 12 and then you have another 13. what did we say it's, it's a Two, size four, 30. six seven and then here you would obviously not put as many because you've got your pop-up and then this one, this is a Jenny page, because she always includes these in hers. Mm. And you can put, I mean, you could put a few more in there. And so then lots. here you've got another, at least four, but you could add if you needed two, so there's five. So that's on about 29 already. Okay. And then at the back here, you could add a couple. I didn't stick that down, so, I don't know why. We'll count that now. Could you just show Bev? Um, how to attach the oh, okay, babe. Mm -hmm. We're just going to stick. Sorry, I've stuck this down already. But once you've got your your concertina folded up like that, you've got your hinge folded underneath. You're just going to remove your tape and stick it flat. So if I open this up, the piece that's sticking down is underneath this piece of paper. Hopefully that helps. And keyword is hinge. I learned hinge. that this weekend. Yeah, this is your hinge. So you always making hinges to attach. You know, this whoop whoop on here has gone crooked. I don't know how many times. What is wrong with it? The so same person that steals my scissors. But I pulled it off and I restuck it and it's crooked again. That's too crooked. Yeah. Bev, did that help? Dennis is very happy. Bev is from Harlech, but it's the same Bev, I'm thinking. Yeah, Bev Gregson. Bev Gregson, yeah. yeah. No, sure Bev's got it. Okay. So that's page one done. So you're going to come come back and do your um, your decorating a little bit later or when you have a moment. We're going on to page two and we're going to create a belly band. There it is there. For new people, what, what is a belly band? So a belly band just is literally, it's a piece of paper. It has got a hinge top and bottom, and you can put things in from both top, uh, from either side. So if you have a look on this page, I moved the belly band to the side, and I've put a little piece of um, ribbon underneath. So it can be, you can put stuff on both sides. And then into that, we're just going to create very, very simple, I haven't decorated or anything, because they just are, um, Sorry. They like leftovers. That you they were, they that. were little pieces, yeah, that I've used, but they're just place to put your photos. Photo mats, mm -hmm. see the photo mats, or you can do journaling, because it's quite nice to, if you want to hide your journaling, your journaling can go underneath. Okay, so we're going to create a belly band, and we're going to create these three little booklets. That's a glorified tuck spot. It's a glorified <laughs> tuck spot. <laughs> okay. So we're getting out that piece of blue, which is on the back. This one, which we had in the beginning, which is six six PP six six zero three. I'm gonna cut off my OMG. You guys need a new guillotine. I'm serious. That's why I'm just the brass of us. Just give no, you don't want a tonic. You just go and get yourself a, an arrow. No, go and get yourself an arrow. This need, I think it needs to be tightened. Where's your Allen key? You need to tighten it. No, we need an Allen key. Takes Allen key. That's nice. 
<laughs> Alrighty. So we are now finally on page two. And I also, I don't know what happened when this, I'm going to have to sort this out. Sorry, guys, because these were all pushed down. And when they've transferred across, I don't know whether it's Google Drive. I think because I saved it as a word and not as a PDF, it shifts stuff around. That's what did this over here. It was Google Drive. Uh, yeah. It's just story in Okay. So we cut an E1, which is this one. You're going to cut a piece 10 centimeters by 14,5 centimeters. So let's cut that one first, label it and put it to the side. Sandy, isn't that size for the back of the the, the backing of the page? Oh, yes, it is. Sorry, Mags. No, hold this. Yes, it's the pink. It's the pink piece. Sorry, I've given you the wrong one. I do apologize. We cut, but we're cutting the belly band, which is six centimeters by 16,5. So the belly band is from this one. It's to, six centimeters by 16,5. Sorry. It's the little pink one, which is 6607. One must concentrate better when one is busy here. It's actually coming from this sheet. The backing sheet is from this one, which is PP. Sorry, that's this one. This is um, piece E1, that is this piece. Sorry. And that's the number. E1. Oh, no, 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 sorry. And then E2, we're cutting from this piece. We have got loads of paper, so. Sorry. Yeah, shouldn't we talk? Have they, have they cut the blue already? Of any if they've cut the blue piece already, they can use that. It's not the end of the world. Because you haven't cut it yet. I haven't cut it as yet, no. I'm still getting there. So I'm going to take this piece out. And I'm not cutting the whole thing. I'm just going to cut off what I need for now. Okay, so this is going to be my base page, this pink one underneath. I'm just going to pop that to the side. That is E1. I'm labeling and then just popping it to the side. Okay. Then E2 is going to be our belly band, which we're going to cut from here. So if you have cut it already, you have got loads that you can use. So this one is E2. Okay, so there's your E1, there's your E2. I'm just moving this all to the And then these three pieces here, All come from the sheet. PP six six zero eight. The sheet. So there's the green, the green in color. There it is. There. Um. Think, don't cut any more from these because I think what I did is I um, did it once, did it twice, and I changed it up a little bit. So 
we need that piece. And then what we'll do is we will pull up the balance from off cuts as we go along. So, sorry, I work quite differently when I do many albums. I normally do the, the outside first and the decorating, I come back and just use off cuts. So, if you want to, we're just going to use this one for now. We'll use this one for now, the others we'll pick up as we go along. I'm just going to cut this green one out because then we'll put one of the. One of the pieces in. And this is the one that gets 20, cut 20 by 14. This is the one that's 20 by 14. Oh, yeah. We'll come back and we'll do E4 and E5 at a later stage. So when you cut this one, this E3, um, it pretty much is the right size. You have to trim it a little bit from the one side. More importantly, what I want to do now, I'm not too worried about these pieces because these we can add later. It's getting the actual base album complete. And you're going to use your scoreboard again. Are we doing the belly, belly band? We're going, to, yeah, we're going to start off with the belly band, the belly band. Sandy, I know this is wrong, but every time I see you cut with that blade, please don't cut your fingers. But at the same time, this is going to YouTube. And imagine my views. The heads. <laughs> if you did. Right, so you've got your E2, and you've got your 16,5 centimeter along the top. You got your six centimeters down the side, and we're just going to score at one, and we're going to score at 15 and a half. So literally, you've got a centimeter on either side. I generally, when I score, I score the side I want to see up. So it makes a little bubble going down so that when it folds, it folds correctly. And we're going to pick up our tape and we're going to pop a piece of our six mil tape. Don't jinx, don't jinx it, Dennis. So you should have E2 looking like that. I'm going to put E1 and E2 up and because they, they basically um, go together. Yep. And they also are part of the actual base album, whereas the other pieces, E3, E4, and E5, are actually just inserts that you can add. Once you've it, you popped your, your um, double-sided tape on, you're going to matter. So again, from the score line, there's my score line. I just take my scissors and I pop it in that groove. And we're going to cut the smallest little matter. And the reason being is that when it's folded, you're not going to see the underneath sticking out. So if you have a look at that side, you can't really see the paper underneath. But if I do that, the underneath paper so your matter can be teeny tiny literally just to cut away that piece and i've lost my album sandy that's me 
Hi, it's Teresa here. Just a quick question. I got a little bit delayed. The the blue piece of paper that you're doing there, is that 8031? No, it is um, 6607. Oh, what I'm, Sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, try and go into my Google Drive and just try and move everything around. It seems to have moved in... Um, taking it from Word to my Google Drive. Okay, so that blue piece is what we attach to the front cover of the album, yes. to the so inside no, side. Inside of the inside, yeah. And all I'm doing okay. is I'm just I'm just chalking the edges to take the white, the white away. If you wanted okay. to, you could absolutely um, uh, sand, it would be perfect. And then the pink piece, is that from 6607? It's from, uh, the pink piece is from 6607, yes. It's one right. of these, so it's one of these, um, it's from this one. It's one of these pieces from here. But oh, any of okay. these would yes. work, you don't have to use what I've used, you can change it up and use it because there's so much paper that we're going to use a couple of these. You could use, you can mix and match. So if you wanted to be more stuck of the blues, you could you could definitely use one of these others. And then just change it up as you go along. All right. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. We're gonna add um Sorry. We're going to start off by popping down our, our base, um, our, our page mats. So we're going to start off with E1. And I'm just going to stick that straight into the album. And I've done it so that the little bit of pink sticks out to the left so that we can see it because I'm going to position my belly band to the right. You can obviously you can glue, you can tape, you can do whatever makes your heart happy. You're saying your sort of sequence then is to actually cover all the pages now and then you come back after and yeah, I cover all the base pages, do all the apps, the base flaps, the base pockets. So everything that's like well, you'll see at the end you'll have all your flaps in place. And then I come back and then I start adding like E3, E4 and E5. I add those at a later stage. I don't add them now. And then I use all the offcuts to do that. So anything that's left over, I'll fiddle around with and see where it's going to go. And probably I would normally put a bit of blue in here as well, but I'm not bothered today. Stick that down and then we're going to add our belly band. Just try my old because this is not great. Okay. That's stuck down. Now we're going to come in with our belly band. I've chalked my belly band. You can place your belly band in the center. You can place it to the left. You can place it wherever makes your heart happy. My piece of ribbon I added in at a later stage. That piece of ribbon is in the um, okay. embellishment pack. So you can either add it now or later, but I find it easier to add later. And I've put it quite far down and it will fit directly on top. So it's to the right of the background piece. To the right of the background piece. Thanks. And basically that's my belly band attached. And because we've marked at those corners, you now don't see the attachment. You could have attached the belly band to the outside of the page as well and folded it over the top, but I kind of prefer the, the finish that this gives. 
So that's page two done. We'll come back. Yeah, this you can just literally, you can pop it on your scoreboard and score. We'll come back and we'll find the other little pieces. Might have to trim it down. I'm actually gonna, it's a little bit big. So you might need to just trim it down. So normally what I do is I fold it in half, line everything up like so. And then I'll come in and I'll trim it down. Just grab my, my guillotine. And just neaten up the edges. And again, using wheat, I've just gone around the edges just to take the white. Oopsie. So that's my E3. I'm just going to pop it in there for now. You can also. Just pop it in. So you could either do it that way or you could take it from this side. So I'm just giving you a couple of options. And there's your second page done. Voila. Okay. Can we move on to page three? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you looking for PP6602? Definitely things have gone out of alignment and moving it across to Google Drive. Nobody's battling on the WhatsApp. Okay, okay. Like I'll fix it. I'll do what I'll do is I'll fix it. I'll put it into PDF mm. and then we upload it. Just a font change. Mm. Okay, so we're doing F1 and we're working from here. And if you have a look at the original, I have cut this little piece out here to get my little pockets so I've got the little people in. So I'm going to use the guillotine. I'm not going to move it across, but I'm going to be cutting to 11,5 by 15 centimeters. So 11,5 by 15. Just move the guillotine. So, 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 so I'm gonna the guillotine handle's just falling off. <laughs> okay. Um eleven comma five by fifteen, so it's fifteen down. Sorry, I've moved it across. So I'm cutting, just bringing my notes. The 11,5 is across and the 15 is down. So I'm doing the 15 first. I want to get these little guys in. 15 first, and then I'm going to cut it to 11,5. Uh, so you've got a, this teeny mini piece, it doesn't look like it's going to be big enough, but I promise you it is. We're going to pop it on our scoreboard. Making a slow down while we just cut. Okay, so picking up your scoreboard, you're going to score at one and at 10 and a half on the 11,5 side, and you'll turn 90 degrees, and you're going to score at 40 on the 15 centimeter side. Okay. 
as in this all the way three, like three sides. Yeah. Okay, so we've cut 11 and a half by 15. Should I wipe it and take a photo so the girls can see? This is the F1. Okay, so 11,5 by 15, and then I'm going to score at one centimeter and 10,5 centimeters. Let's do that one first. We're making, we're creating one centimeter hinges on either side. Flip it, we'll turn it 90 degrees and we're going to score at 14 centimeters from the 15 centimeters to the side. I'm going to put my tape on because taping it will help you see what I've done. Remember, it's going in the half inch section created by the score line. Eleven comma five by 15. Yes, I've done tape. My score line is at one and a 10 comma five. And then my other score line is down the base at 14 centimeters. That's pretty easy, yes. And it's, it's, it's a one centimeter. It's a one centimeter on three sides. So the two sides and the base. And to make our pocket pretty, we get a mark sign. So basically, it's the same thing we're doing over and over and over again. All we're doing is increasing and decreasing sizes. On this one, on the score line out, we're doing the two little marches at the top. So, and from the base, where the lines intersect. You can either use your mass imager up your score lines. Mass ruler intersection, or you can use your ruler and your craft knife, or you can use your scissors and just cut through. So you're going to land up with your pocket shape with your hinges in place. Okay. And I'm going to work on the back now because I want to cut. I'm going to punch out a little half circle thingy, bit of a circle to give me that. So I'm just going to show you, you don't need fancy tools. If you've got a circle punch, you can do it. So I'm going to work on the back and I'm placing it on my score on my um the craft mat. Okay. I'm just going to make a little mark where the center is. I'm eyeballing it. And then I'm just going to pick up my one inch punch. And again, I'm going to eyeball. I'm not measuring. I'm going to pop it in and I'm just going to cut out a little cupsy. 
hot seat. A hot seat. That's for Jenny. Okay. Well, thanks for taking the word. Wasn't a Durban word, yeah. no. I'm going to cut out a little semicircle. <laughs> a half crescent. <laughs> a, a little new moon. <laughs> and I'm going to chalk. But I've destroyed this. Um... <laughs> oh, big chalking happening there. Yeah. My chalk's quite new, so it's still wet. So I just run my fingers around the edge, obviously, to get a little bit too much. And then we're going to pop it into our album. What page is that? Page three. Page three. I'm just folding everything in, folding my hinges in, folding my hinge in. And I use the edge of my table to help me fold. You can't see it here because I'm too far away from the table. But I just fold everything in like so. And then I'm going to paste. I'm going to use the same technique that I always do with my little zips. I'm just going to do a little zip down the bottom. And I'm moving it down to the bottom. And again, I'm keeping the same space all the way around. So I've eyeballed it. It's equidistant all the way around about. I think I would know half a centimeter and then I'm going to attach the base first because once I've attached the base it's in play, place and then I can remove the other and stick down. I have given you the measurement for the tag, but that's something we can come back and do at a later stage. I'd rather do all the flaps and stuff and come back and do those. So that's page three. And look at the difference between the two albums, just by having one with a bit of decorasi and one with nothing. Let me move this out the way so you can see. <laughs> Yeah, for Bear, if she was asking how to stick that, but that just gets tucked under. It the just gets bands. tucked underneath. And obviously, with this one, if you wanted to have them all the same size, you could have them all the same size. You don't have to cut down. So it's quite a difference just by having a little bit of like embellishing a little bit. And you can use um, Juliet's way of ombreing. That's another big word. Mm -hmm. Ombreing your chippy. Which was a really nice tip we got yesterday with using the white base and then adding the color on top. Love it. I added a bit of foam tape if you have a look at this one. I've added a bit of foam tape underneath to give it a bit of heart to make the petals braised. I love adding foam. Okay, so foam tape just to give it a bit of dimension for the part. We're going to head on to page four. <laughs> page four and page one are absolutely the same or the same idea. The one we're just going to cut in an angle. Cutting at an angle now. You're going to cut it number four at an angle. I'll show you oh. how to do it. Oh, an angle. An it's a const angled concertina fold. Oh, posh. Very posh. Right. So you're looking for PP6603, which is this one. Also, could have an off cut that might be nice. Point work. I can't remember. I'm old now. I'm very old. Yeah. And then on my notes as well, I also put a little checklist so it actually tells us where we are. So we've done that. We've done E1, E2, E3. We know we've got to come back and do E4 and E5. We know we've got to come back and do F2. So we are working on G1 and we're cutting a 29 by 14 centimeters. 29,5 by 14. So it's 29,5 that way, by 14 this way. 
Así que voy a explicar la chica, no voy a explicar And we are cutting it down to 25 on the arm. No, 29. Sorry, 29 on the arm. And then a Laura. 29 on the arm. See, Laura, I also do it. It's the first sign of the wheels falling off and the engine falling off. So we need your scoreboard. And basically he's scoring exactly the same as we did for page one. So he's scoring at one centimeter, at 10 and a half, and at 20 centimeters. So the girls who are doing it the other way, you would be scoring at, I think it's nine and a half. From the other side. Ten and a half. It's one, ten and a half, and one, ten and a half and twenty centimeters. And I see there's a pretty, I promise you, I changed all of these. There's definitely gremlins. Yeah. And then I think that's ten and a half. I think, and and a half. I I think if you just turn your page upside down, it works, doesn't it? No, it works Oh gosh. Yeah, but the insides are nine and a half. Yeah, the yeah. insides are nine and a half. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. Nine and a half, yeah. So it's 20 and a half. 20. Mm -hmm. And you're popping a double sided tape on that one centimeter area. On your hinge. On your hinge. Like on the right side, always on the right side. It's not always, but nearly always on the right side. And then we're going to angle. We're going to cut our angle. Can you show us on what you mean by the angle on the real one? I can show you on the real one. So we're going to angle oh, it. So it gives us just so a little. Funny. Okay. It is very cool. But... But it's super easy. It's also nice because you've seen both sides of the paper. Mm -hmm. People think they can't do it. No, and it's so easy. I mean, it's ready. We're going to fold. Do you fold or fold your hinge? And fold your concertina. Uh, don't fold your concertina. I'm lying to you. Just fold your, fold your hinge over. The reason we're folding it over is so that when we cut our angle, we're cutting the angle that's of the hinge as well. So it's the right angle. Not a right angle, it's going to be the correct cool. angle. And then all we're going to do, I'm going to use my mat. I'm just going to measure down six centimeters on this side. So my hinge is here. I'll open it up so you can see where the hinge is. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my mark there. So I'm measuring down six centimeters. And I'm going to put a little mark. You can't see the mark because it's kind of painful. I will put a little mark in black pen. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put a little mark just above so I don't have the black there when I cut. So down the right hand side, I've measured six centimeters down. I'm going to pick up my yellow team and I'm going to put the corner with my hinge, excuse me, fold, fold it over. I'm going to line the corner there. And my little marquee I've lined up down this side. I and mean, if you can see, I'm nervous of this, this guillotine. No, Dennis wants blood. Okay, so I'm lining it up. The top corner is kind of in line with where it's going to cut. And this bottom right hand side. Is lined up with the blade and I'm just going to cut it through. So I've cut that off and it's including that little bit of the hinge. There's that little bit of the hinge which is slightly bigger because it's 
um, was folded over. And you can chalk that. And once you've chalked, I call it chalk, I know some people call it inking. We're not going to mat at the corner inside here, this, this one, because we're going to be putting a piece of paper over the top. So we don't need to. Okay. And once you've chalked, you can chalk it can fold. And if it's slacky off, just use your school, right? Okay. And there is your little concertina page. There it is. It works really well where you've got contrasting. Yeah, back. it works perfectly. Obviously, you're not going to use it if it's got a fussy cut, which is from the back. Yeah. But that was perfect. And the blue, I mean, it works absolutely beautiful. perfect. Yeah. Perfectly. And so we're just going to add it into our mini album. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Okay, like so. Even spacing left and right. Yeah, if, um, no, keep it a little bit more to the left because we're going to put our base, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. a base page on. And you know what is quite interesting with mini albums is I've got a few family members who've seen Aaron do it and they've taken it up. They don't know scrapbooking, no interest in scrapbooking, but a mini album that, concept for them is something they want to try and do. And this, I think, also appeals to people who like constructing. I've got quite a few guys who come in now. The wives buy the paper and they do the decorating, but the guys are doing the structure and they're enjoying it. Yeah. And they, there it is. So it now works. We need our little um, base page, which I put here as G2 which is 10 centimeters by 14,5. And for some unknown reason, I'm telling you there's serious gremlins because I checked these notes like a million times. Um, it says 660, so it could be any one of these. <laughs> but actually, it is this one. It's one of these. Okay, one so of what the number is that? It can either come from 6607 or 6608. So I have this one 6608. I'm just going to trim that down. And it's 10 centimeters by 14,5 centimeters. You can just pluck that over the top. So that's not a Durban word. Yeah, I'm learning. It's just like a serious problem, the album. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's lying across the floor. Take a rain check. Yeah. Never move a cat. Have an ash break. Have a kid's cat. <laughs> Jenny, what was the uh, size of the bubble paper? Uh, it is the stand, it's the, the base page is 10 centimeters by 14, comma five. You can go a little bit bigger, but I like to have a little border all the way around. Mm. Yeah, 
Ja. Yes, we've done halfway. We, yeah, we're halfway. No, yeah. we've done the outside. It's no, halfway. no, it's four pages. I mean. yes, we're, we're, we're halfway in the album, yeah. But now we're going to start with pop ups. Oh, okay, wait, let me just go. Um, we got the pop up. And the other stuff is pretty easy because it's just pockets, ready pockets are simple. We got the pop up and we got the. So let's do the pop up. I always create such a mess when I work. I'll try my hardest to you. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we've done G1 and we've done G2. We're going on to this. And we're doing the pop up. We're still working. I've used a lot of these little, um, what do you call these? Card stock journal, journal, card stock, journal. journal cards. I've used a lot of these just to show you what that you, I mean, they're, they're amazing for mini albums. So we're using this dude over here, H1, and we're cutting it to 10 centimeters, which already is 10, by 15,5. And you'll see from the others, we've added on that extra centimeter, which is going to be our end. Exactly. <laughs> Um, actually, I'm going to cut this by hand and then I'll turn it down. Uh, oh, that's yay! Are we cutting the blue one up completely? Yeah, we're cutting it up completely. Why do I think you're going to get two of them? But it has not the little man. <laughs> no, this one, I don't know one man. Yeah, there's only one man. But you want to be 50.5. Yeah. So we cut some of the pink. You yeah. can certainly yeah, cut some of the pink. Mine's going to be a little bit short because I had trimmed the pink off earlier. Show you that it's not the end of the world. Mine's a little bit shorter. I wonder if I should show the ladies what to do if they do make them and not just and cut it a bit shorter. Okay, I won't. I won't. Yeah, right, we, we're down to 35 minutes left in the floor. Yeah, we're still got like the hardest stuff to do. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's so happy. It has difficult pages. I know, I should have. But you've got lunch. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a bit lunch. Okay, so I've cut mine down. Mm -hmm. I've cut mine a little bit shorter than it needs to be. But I'm I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. So what I'm going to do is I'm picking up my scoreboard. And I'm popping it so that the little mannequin is on this side. Because... I'm creating a hinge at the top. So I'm trying to create that hinge there. So my little man must be at the bottom of the page here. And I'm going to score at one centimeter. So you make sure. score less. You could score to a point eight if you want. You could. Because you also cut short. But I'm not, I'm not bothered. Bothered, yeah. Because I'm just going to move and I'll come down. Okay, so I've scored. At one centimeter on that 15 and a half centimeter side. And I'm looking for my tape. And I'm going to pop double sided tape in that one centimeter area. Like so, and I'm going to fold it over. So simple, I've created my hinge. I've created this little guy. And you'll see mine is like um, about two mil shorter. And I'm honestly, I'm not bothered. You can chalk it if you want to. And because I've cut mine slightly shorter, 
I'm going to just position it a little bit further down. Set it right at the top of the page. I'm going to position it down a little bit. So there's the base of my pop-up. That's the base of my pop-up. Here it is here. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Inside, I'm going to be cutting a piece 10 centimeters by 14,5 from this page. So this is PP6604 BFF. I'm going to cut a 10 centimeter by 14,5. I'm going to cut mine probably a wee bit smaller just to make up for my, my little boo boo. So instead of me measuring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on there. And I'm going to fold that over and I'm going to put a little mark so it lines up perfectly. I have to try and mark because I can't see it. Because this is what happens every time I go on the album. Give it a sound. I'm going to chalk the edge again. When attempting a page, you do anything with a hinge first. So you that can you cover can, it. That then you can cover, cover it, yeah. It. So my hinge is underneath, so I don't see it. Then I can come in with my pattern and pop it over the top. I'm just going to double check that it all lines up, which it does. Let's stick it down. And you'll also see that when I cut, I often cut the tape off with my knife so it's right in line with the edge of the page because I have little bits of tape sticking out. Taking the zips to a new level. And then topping this down. I close the little top flap just to make sure that everything's hidden. I don't want you to be able to see if it's sticking out. Right. I was going to snap my legs. Wow. Because my tape is not going right in the bone. Is it going on me? No, it's not going on me. You're not on me. All right, so we've done the first part of our pop up mechanism, which is super easy. So now we have to make the little pieces. So we're going to make a series of little rectangular things using offcuts. Just grab offcuts, little pieces. They need to be a centimeter. In fact, if I remember correctly, you only needed one strip to make all those. So let's do a little strippy. You could even use um, a barcode. So I'm going to use the barcode. It's a little bit wider than a centimeter. I can use any barcodes. I'm not a great at using barcodes. I'm very bad at using barcodes, in fact. So I will have to change my ways. Right, we're going to do one H3. This is going to be 11 centimeters. So I've put it down that you need one centimeter, but um, 
barcode width is fine as well. We need one that's 11 centimeters, one at three, in fact, two, if I remember correctly, at three and a half, two at three and a half. <coughs> and one at six and a half. Okay, so on your sheet, just to show you where we are, we are cutting these H3, H4, and H6, not H3, H4, and H5. That's fine. I didn't feel like an H6 that day. We need one by 11 centimeters, one by 3,5 cent, two by 3,5 centimeters, sorry, one by 3,5, cut two, and you need one at 6,5. I don't think my ABD brain can cope with these things. And we're using the barcode strips, so they're not going to be a centimeter, but it's not the end of the world. We just need to make these little thingy, foldy things. Little foldy things. So you need your scoreboard. You need those four little pieces. This is just in case you were starting to feel sleepy before lunch. Right. Putting the 11 centimeter side up, and we're going to score at one centimeter, five, six, and ten. So one, five, six, and ten. Thank you. Is that for us as well? Yeah, one centimeter, five centimeters, six centimeters, and ten centimeters. So to show you what it's doing. You've got a one centimeter gap in the middle. You've got a four centimeters. Four centimeters and one centimeter top and bottom. And you've just got that little one centimeter overlap. So you're going to make a little thing that a looks little like box. a little box that looks like that. And that's how simple a pop up mechanism is. I'm going to seal it. You can use glue, you can use tape. And I've used, I probably should have used the pattern on the outside, but you're not going to see it, so I'm not bothered. So there's my. I know what you mean, Laura, you need like long hands. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, so you've got it, big boobs and a tummy. And I know. It's, the struggle's it. real. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a first little box. And then your two, three centimeter boxes are going to be minute, you know, because you're scoring these. And if you look at your notes, they're there. No comma five. One, two, and two comma five. Basically, you're making the minutest boxes you've ever made. No. They're half a centimeter. They're going to be like that. Half a centimeter and one centimeter. You're making two of those. A few ladies are starting to battle a little bit, Cindy. I think it's just the scoring measurement. The scoring. Okay. Uh, Have a look at your notes because that's that's what I find is the most difficult. Is actually following the notes. So you're going to score on your eleven centimeters. You're going to score at one, five, six, and ten centimeters. So that's your. We are on H three. So that's your big box. Then you're going to make two smaller boxes that are no comma five one centimeter, two centimeters, and two and a half centimeters. So that's this teeny mini little box that I'm making now. Okay, and you're making two of these. Oh, two of, oh. Two of these okay. little ones. <laughs> so these are the smallest dudes. And you can join them with glue, join them with tape. Mm. 
نحن 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 So there's my two little, there's my little box. And I'm going to do the next little one. Here it is here. There's my next little box. It is very awkward. I need one of those bottles. What I'll do for you is I'll make you a little video mm -hmm. when I get home next week. Because I'm not going on you. So is this rock or is this rock? That's fine. Yeah, a little bit. Which one are you doing? The six centimeter one? That looks right for the six centimeter one. Yeah, but now I just mix up on the three and a half of them. Well, there's way more barcode to where it came from. Yeah, there's tons. Okay, so there's my second little dude. And if they're a little bit crooked, it doesn't matter. Just kind of manipulate them so they fold both ways, like so. So you're going to add there my, my pop-ups. And I'm doing my one that's marked H6, so it should actually be H5. One and a half. Two and a half. Four. The pop ups are not for everybody. If you don't mm -hmm. want to do the pop up, don't do the pop up. They look really cool. They're so mm -hmm. cool. They are very cool. Though. But not everybody likes fiddling with silly little pieces of paper. So those four little boxes are what's going to make your flowers pop. How does she know that they're they're all over the internet. Okay. These things have been around for hundreds of years, so nobody can ever claim them and say, oh, this was my idea, because it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I don't think they are we just embellished all of these. Mm -hmm. Nobody who says it's my idea, they just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> They might have found an old idea and made it better, but the original idea is uh, <coughs> This Elon Musk comes with scrapbook. Whoa, true story. <laughs> yeah, scary. But the black children there from <laughs> Big Bang. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some. Did you added some photos. Did you add some from the side? Mm. I, did. I did put some I did. in the Google Drive. Okay. okay. Is this got hers done perfectly? One well done. <laughs> don't have to be perfect, hey? No, because you're not going to see them. The kind of flowers that they see. Michelle, you have to do the same for your class. Mine's a lot easier. Because I think I need to have a sleep. No, mine is really <laughs> easy. I don't believe you. I promise you. This is like the hardest. Probably, it's not hard. Julia, it's not hard. It's one of your sleeps. You can take from me. I mean, creating an album, you're almost using a, a pack full of paper compared to a layout where you can have lots over. And the one, yeah, this is small, so you're only going to use the portion. You probably could get two or three mm -hmm. albums out of the bath pack. Just a bit of a last one in the six by nines I'm putting out today. 
It's four by six, four by six, they're small ones. Six by eight. Six by eight, sorry. I love them. Well, lots of stuff to know. <laughs> well, the, those, the mini pack is perfect for the mini album. Oh, yeah. Can you buy a mini album? You buy a mini pack? And, voila. and you can do the entire album from a pack. Mm. And it generally uses the entire pack. It's like just perfect. But now they've done a class with you, so they can go back now and look at all the old. Yeah, and they're all uploaded onto the Celebrate You Say. And all yeah, the stores have nice. the mini paper pack yeah. in stock www.celebratesa.com and you can go and see all the all the notes for all the stuff that you've done in the past. They're all there. They're awesome. Okay, can we start adding? No. Mm -hmm. this one. I'm going to try and hold it up to the camera. We don't need to add the flowers just yet. We can add all the mechanisms. Is the mechanism. Yeah, it's all the little squares inside. Yeah, but you can't see it on the camera. So now turn that. Face the flowers, maybe. There's a little mechanism. Mm -hmm. So if you look inside there, there's a big one. The big box is at the back. There's a little box perched on top. And there's a little box perched to the front. And then there's an elongated box here, this one, to the side. So you need your little boxes. And I use tape for this. I don't use, yeah, you can bring the flowers out. It's easier to kind of work with the flowers to start, but then go back and add the flowers. So I'm going to start off with the biggest one first. The only reason you would need your flowers is to get your gap how far away so that you don't want it sticking out over your fold and these are super 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 easy to attach okay right so this first one you're going to put a piece of tape um i prefer tape to glue because glue doesn't dry quickly enough Okay, so we're going to put a piece of tape and probably because this is bigger than the, cent the centimeter because it's a barcode, um, I could probably get away with using thicker tape. So you're going to put tape on one, one thin end and on one thick, one long end. Okay. And this is so simple. So tape on a long, tape on a short. Right, obviously they're right next to each other. And if you've turned it this way, it doesn't matter because all you're gonna do is just turn it around. We are then going to fold it so that the little piece, you're gonna fold it so that the little piece is underneath. Okay, there's the little piece, is underneath, the big piece is on top. I'm gonna remove a piece of tape, the release tape on the little one. And I'm going to position this in my book, making sure that this came close. I'm coming in about let's make it come in two centimeters. So you've got an actual measurement. So your fold is in line with the fold. Sorry. And you've come in, so you're about two centimeters in. And we're just going to stick that down. So at the moment, the tape's still in the front, eh? Yep. At the moment, it looks like that. The tape is on the top, your long piece of tape is on the top. So you've just stuck that little piece down. That's the start of your pop up. It's so simple, but so clear. It's super simple. Now, there's no stress involved. You've done the hard part. You've created the boxes. Just close the page and open it again. And there's the start of your pop-up. Right. Your... Um, okay. Can't can't see. See. Okay. Just close it. Take the release tape off and close it. Close the lid. Just do that again. Or okay. Just open again. All right. So I'll try and get it off. I don't have undo here. No. 
Our first, first screen here is, is Barrymore's face, and she was looking very confused. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do all the we're gonna do all of them are exactly the same. Nothing's gonna change. We're gonna do the same thing over four times now, even for the minute, even for the all the mass microscopic minute and minuscule one. Okay. This minuscule one here, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna tape it up. I'm gonna put tape on one side. One long one, one wide one, and I'm going to do tape on one of the short ends. I'm going to, you might have to trim your tape down a bit because it might be sticking over the edge, which I'm just going to do without cutting through my little hinge. There it is there. I have a little bit of tape on there, a little bit of tape on there. So we've got adjacent pieces, a big and a small. And we're going to follow the exact same process. So Sorry, Sandy, of... is, that, is that the very small one? Yeah, I'm working with now. So I've done the very big one. Now I'm going to add it to the side. I'm going to add a little small one okay. so that I can add and get depth and get this flower. So when you look at it, uh, when you look at it, you've got the blue one at the back, the beige one, and the green one at the front. Okay, so it's not going to go lined up or anything. It's going to no. go up in front. It's going to go in front. So same principle. I'm going to remove the tape from the little side. Like so, and it's. My little piece of tape is downward. I'm going to come in and I'm going to place it. And this placing placement is quite important. It's in line. There's the big piece. It's kind of when this folds over, it's going to pick that up and do the same. So it's going to stick onto that one. It's going to stick onto that one. So you've got a little bit extra tape, but it's not a problem because you can either put some um, powder or something on. Okay. So it's going to come down and we're going to open it up and it's going to stick to that one. So that's going to be for your second flower placement. Jeez, I'm clever. Okay. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> and like mine, I've got a little bit too much sticky there, so a little bit of powder, Johnson's baby powder, whatever, you just put some on there and it's good to go. Okay. We're going to let's finish with these little ones because these are fiddly. This one is going to be for the attachment. For that attachment there, the top one, you're going to build it on top of this piece. So again, same thing. Little piece of tape on the thin adjacent sides. We're doing that the small one because they're the hardest to work with. Okay, so there's my, my next one. Mm. I'm gonna so cool, <laughs> I'll do a video. I'll do a video and add it to the Google Drive. Okay, so I've got on two sides. Same again. I've got my little my little piece. I'm now going to attach it to the top to the top one. I'm just getting my placement quickly. I'm going to attach it to this top one, just off center. And then the same again. I'm going to now. I can't close it because it's that will yeah it will make a difference. But what I need to do. On there is just push it up. Okay, so now when we lift it, Dennis I is going to take see. photos because it's quite hard to take photos and do it. So when it folds down, 
So when you fold this down, what's happening is everything is folding. Oh, I'm gonna put it there so you can see. When you fold it, everything folds flat, look. Folds up. Mm. So that's your, your um, basic pop-up. This is a really basic pop-up technique. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, when you start adding other techniques, oh my goodness. Okay, we've got to add the last one, which is going to be our medium size one. So, again, you can tape it on two adjacent sides next to you for those here. Yeah. <laughs> giving, <laughs> giving me grief. <laughs> And the placement of this one is slightly different from the others because when I say slightly different, if I put it so it's upwards, it's going to be too flat. So I'm going to be adding this one so that the flat, this side, is on the base. Okay, so. The big part. The big part is now, so the same. We've got the tape up, the big part is at the base, and I'm gonna pop it in next to it. Like so. And the thin part sticks to the top. And the thin part's gonna to stick to the top. So there's our pop-up. Fold it down and there's our pop-up. No, those holes are really good, you can see it closer. <laughs> like James would, like James would say, "Oma, I did it." <laughs> well done. He needs lunch anyway. It's overrated. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to do a shell This is going to be interesting. And I have been fussy. Everybody's going to be so. I'm going to. You can, if you want to now, you can just grab a couple of flowers, whatever makes your heart happy. What did you use? I used the teal. Let me show you. I used the turquoise, teal color, a beige, and a green of different varying sizes. I just want to find them because I did my fussy cutting. Oh, is that a green? All of it. And then also then on that little one, I added the yes, which I did have cut here. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't cut that one. Ooh, like oh, no, no, nothing. No, no, no. My name is Manuel and I know nothing. <laughs> But you can choose any of the stains. I mean, you don't have to use the one that I chose. But the ones that you chose was really cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's add these on. And then your pop up is complete. Um, yes, it's a bit after this. Yeah. Sure. Graduate so. to the next level. No, I just this is this one. So basically, mm -hmm. all you're going to do now is you're going to position your flowers and you're going to. I'm going to add them and pop them in place. Like a bomb. That's like a bomb. So cool. <laughs> Seriously, you're just going to absolutely pluck a bomb. So I'm putting a teeny bit of tape on. I'm not putting heaps on. Cool. And then what you must do with paper when you're doing pop ups, you must continually close your work. Keep closing it so you can make sure that things are fitting in there in place. So there's my. My tealy colored blonde. Then on this one down the bottom, I'm going to do my, my, my tanny colored blonde. So I'm going to put, instead of putting it on there, in the back of the flower, I'm actually going to put it on the mechanism. When I did the original um, mini, um, I built one piece at a time and kept it, kept adding to it, but it's much easier to do the whole mechanism. Okay, so I've stuck that on and then close it. 
And then finally, I'm going to do the little green one in front. So I'm just going to pop a little tape. Oh, way too much tape. So I'm just going to close it over so it sticks to it. I'm going to remove the release tape. Over. Blom. Close it. So I've now got my depth. And then the last one I have to, I'm going to do is my little yes that I've just fussy cut that I've just lost. And I'm going to add it in behind. So again, I'm going to add a little bit of tape. You can, as I said, you can use glue, you can use tape. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to have to get you in to do a series of like mini classes, how to do pop-ups, how to do concertinas, how to, it's, you can apply the techniques then to any. You can apply to anything across your, across the way. Okay, so across the board, you know. there's your, I uh, put my yes a little bit too low down, so I need my glue undo so I can just move it. No, that's good. Okay. So there's your pop-up. So, cool. so technically it is super, super, super simple. Once you know how. Once you know how. Can I ask the ladies at home, we're supposed to go on lunch now. Um, can we carry on for half an hour and shorten the lunch to half an hour? If somebody has to leave, could you just let us know on the WhatsApp group? Sorry, guys. Okay, we're getting lots of thumbs up, so I think we can okay. carry on. For so we've got the next two pages are really three are very very simple. They're not difficult at all. This is um one that Jen uses quite a bit, Jenny Hesper, and I like it. It's nice. It's really nice. So we're using that same same piece of paper that we had earlier. Um. But we're on page, which is why I marked them, page six. We're using a top and bottom flap. I called it a top and bottom flap because what else do you call it? I'll have to ask Jenny what she calls it. It's this one. It's PP604. And this is piece number R, and we're cutting it to 10 by 30,5. You could cut it a smidgen shorter than 10 if you want to. Smidgen. How much is a smidgen? A little bit more than a smidgen. <laughs> it's a little teeny, teeny, weeny bit. And this one is so easy to do. Dennis, maybe what I should do instead of um, taking time, like showing them how to do the closures, just make a little video on how to do the closure and our closing. We could do that. It's quite, yeah. We still have to do the the waterfall because it only really fitted nicely on the back. It's more solid. It's yeah, it's solid. Okay, so we've got this piece. This is piece number I. We're scoring at six centimeters. And at 20,5 centimeters, and that's it. That's your page your, um, your page complete. Six and 20,5. Slow out it down. That was my mouth, see? <laughs> okay, so this is I. It is 10 centimeters by 30,5 centimeters. And we're cutting one, we're scoring at six and 20,5. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this up, fold it like so. Chalk, and then chuck it in your album. 
I put the small piece to the top so it's like a flap. And then um, another thing that I often do when I'm doing albums is I use my tape all the time. Or your mind. <laughs> so what I often do, just to give me another option, is to just put a piece of tape there. And a piece of tape there, right on either side. So if you want to, you've got a space to stick a little something. You can even seal the base. So let me seal the base. And effectively, you're creating another pocket without doing any like much effort. Because that now. It was the whole, the whole, um, just <laughs> one. Yeah, just going at it's 10 <laughs> centimeters by 30 comma five. And then all you're going to do is you're going to add back to your album. Like so. And I always find that if I fold this in, like if I fold it in like that, um, I, I'm able to place it better than making a big open piece. That. Oh, the floral from the outside. I put the floral on the outside, but it's, I mean, you can change it up, really. Yeah. You honestly can change it up. And there's my flap. And all I've done to make the closure. I think because there's the little piece of ribbon that I stuck in there, because all I did was I cut the circles, and these circles don't fit your one inch. Dennis is one, one and a half, and two. So I use a one and a quarter inch punch, and you get a perfect little circle with no edge. So all I've done to create these, I'll make a little video to show you. I punched two and stuck them together just to make it a little bit thicker. And but that's your page done. Sandy, can I just uh, mention quickly, if you're, if you're uh, new to many albums and you're not uh, keeping up, don't stress. Let Sandy run through this because we're recording the video and you'll be able to go back and pause and continue. So if you're falling behind, rather just sit back now and watch. But let's rather get everything onto the video and we'll upload it to yeah. YouTube today. So that is your top and bottom flap. And I mean, it's super, super simple. Um, I put put the next one out. This is an off cut from page six from page three. Six 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 oh two. Oh two. Is it O two? Sure. What number are we on? Page seven. Yes, six six oh two. So you're right. So we did the um we did the top loading pocket here, and we're going to do, use the, the other piece of this to make a side loading pocket. The pockets are really really simple. I've got my little dude going the wrong way, so I'm just having a look. I might be using another piece. I don't want to cut another one. So invariably, when I do do an album, um, I You've might have to. Use, I have. I've used a leftover, so I'm actually going to just change it up, and I'm going to use. Um, sorry. Oops. I'm actually just going to use another piece of that same page. So it, it, it won't be identical, but I'm not too stressed uh -huh. because here it is here. It will 
that piece is that? It is the piece, but it's like we've cut it slightly shorter. So I'm not going to use, I'm going to use this, but I'm going to use it the other way. So you won't have the little people on there, which means you can decorate it a bit more. So I'll embellish it as well. So this piece is, what are we on page seven? Uh, we cut into 11 by 16,5. So it's 11 by 16,5. 11. Yeah. And I'm cutting the people off this time. Sorry, people. 11, 16, comma, 5. It's the four people, they've gone. Sorry. And just showing you over here the size. Um, I think I've got this too big. Sorry. I cut it to 12 instead of 11. I think that I would have a cut by now. Okay, so it's 11 by 16,5. So we've got our overlaps on the. Do I need to write it down? I put it on the WhatsApp group. <laughs> you need your scoreboard. And basically, we're creating a pocket. So this time, we've got a side opening pocket. So we're going to be scoring on two short sides and one long. So again, we're scoring one centimeter and 15,5. And then we're flipping it and we're scoring at 10 or one. Basically, we just want three sides. And on the right side, you're going to pop your double sided tape. And remember, marching corners at the top. Either you can use a marking the dates, I'll do one with and one without. I still, whether I'm using the marking the jig or not, I like to put a little dot on the intersection. I said to you, I normally work on the reverse just because it lands up being like the tapes in the way. And, <laughs> and if you want to take a little, use a half circle and cut a little. Did you have one on I yours? didn't. I didn't have one on. Okay. And then we can add it to the album. Super duper simple. <laughs> Hmm. Chopping it in there. If you want to, you can cut that little piece out. If you're not going to. Um, oh, who went to chalk? And also remember, if you're doing that little, um, if you're cutting that little piece out, it doesn't have to be in the center. You could do it to the top or to the bottom because it just gives you a different place. I, I didn't put it on because I've used those two little bits that are. Dennis put in the pack and they create like quite nice little bits of interest sticking out. Okay, add it to your album. Oh, page seven, yeah. Page seven done. Page eight is super, super oh, easy. The back page, so I have. Uh, yeah, these mm -hmm. are wonderful, which is, it's easy though. It's really, really, really easy. Okay. There it is there. Page eight, you're looking for these two and I've trimmed them down. Um, they're on this PP. 
six or seven and six or eight to so, um, the uh, Take these little bits if I can find them. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm always chaotic like this when I scrap my hair. Yeah, but by the end you are. Because you don't know what to do from here. Okay, so it's these two. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I think it's PP. Mm -hmm. The one with the pink. Yeah, it's got the, the top and the bottom one. Yeah, I've used that one and I think I used yes. that one. Trim these off, and these two are very simple. And these are ten by seven. So I'm just going to cut them down. Hmm. Are they booklets? They very similar to what like you do. Yeah, it's like a flap, but instead of folding it over, we're not going to fold it, we're going to just stick it flat. So I'll show you now. So on the 10 centimeter side, you're just going to score at half a centimeter on both of them. Oh, I mean, sorry, at one. So you're saying half an inch. On the, edge of both. on the left side, so you're scoring it at one centimeter on the left hand side of both. Of both. And then instead of putting your tape on the wrong on the right side, you're actually going to pop your tape on the wrong side. On the smooth side, normally it would be the smooth, the wrong, the B side, the. They're going to flap up. They're not flapping oh. over. So they're not having a hinge. They're just having a little flat, 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 flat. flat. So there it is there, there's the back, there's my tape, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to position them to stick down. And generally what I do with these is I remove just a little bit of tape so that I can get them lined up. There's nothing worse than doing a mini or making an album and nothing is level. And sort of if you just don't turn the way around, so it does. Okay, send us what any objections. Right, so I'm just attaching them and then I'm going to move them around so that there's a similar space. All the way around. Please, way can you recap? Okay. Right. So I've cut these two pieces, they ten by seven. Am I right? Seven by yep. ten. Ten yep. centimeters by seven centimeters. And then I've scored from the left hand side, I've scored one centimeter. And then I've put double-sided tape on the B side, the side that I'm not going to see. And now I'm just going to position them like so and like so. And when I'm happy, when I'm happy, I'm just going to remove the tape. And now they're going to flap open. So very similar to Lara's class yesterday, she had hers attached like that. Yeah, they finished. Mine. She hinged I hers. So I've left work. mine just flat, like just so. Flat. So it's another way of attaching yeah. pages. So it's all very It's simple. It's simple. It's, it's so simple. Yeah. And then finally, because you girls can do that, that was easy. Yeah, that was we're going to do cool. the little waterfall. 
Okay, so these three pieces that you need. You're going to cut a main piece, you're going to cut a band, and you're going to cut your little pieces that go across there. So if you go to, we're going to page the back inner cover, which is a 26 by 8 centimeter. So we've got L1, L2, and L3. And those are the last things we cut in. You need to be pretty accurate with your eight centimeters because if you're not, in fact, you need to be accurate with all your cutting. I have used on this one, I have used the piece with the floral. So it was pretty. When you pull down, you see the floral. So is that our main piece? Yeah, your main piece is going to be um, 26 by yes, this piece. Okay, so we've been working, and very often, if you leave the little tag, the, the barcode strip on, at least you've got the numbers. So PB6604, and you're cutting that to eight centimeters. So, by 26 centimeters. Eight centimeters. Let me move this out the way. Eight centimeters by twenty-six centimeters. That's your first piece you're going to cut. You're going to cut five eight by eight. And when I cut these, I cut the, the, the um, what is it? Fabric, uh, fabric and brick from the earlier. From right from the beginning, that I was silly. Because when I positioned them, I did the break going the wrong way. Because you remember, you can use the back of these to put photos on the side. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so I'm going to grab. <coughs> well, eight by eight. Eight by eight. And you need five of them. And you've got all the off cuts. So when I do an album, I like to try and use all the bits. So that there's no wastage or minimal wastage. So you cut those, then you're going to cut them to eight by eight. And at home, I would cut on a big arrow guillotine. So that they all cut, I know they all cut the same size. Put the guard, set the guard and cut everything. So the trick is to make sure all the bricks are the same way. Yes, when we come to plucking, we don't want to pluck them so the bricks are the wrong way. And our last piece is what's going to stabilize our waterfall. And it's a piece of this that I've used. Another piece of wood cut. So just go digging through your. It's a floral. It's a floral. If you can find a floral, if you can't find a floral, you can use. No, that one is off. That's right. No, you need another piece to do. Let's use this piece. And we're going to cut a five centimeter strip. Now I need to cut the bottom. Have you got a piece there? Is this piece left? There should be a piece left. I just can't find one because I'm oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh. I'm working so untidily. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's five centimeters by twelve comma five. I can use the teeth. Okay. Five centimeters by twelve comma five. Okay, and that's basically, those are the pieces that you need. Take these and just sort out your brick walls so they all go the same way. Do you need any of those measurements that are typed on the WhatsApp group? Okay, so eight by eight. This is 12 and a half by five, and this is 26 by eight. guys the ones that you cut five of you can just pop those to the side we don't need those yet 
we're going to be working with these two. We're going to score them. I'm actually seriously impressed that we've got as far as we've got because many albums are not easy. To I do. said five hours. Yeah, they normally yeah. take a minimum of five. We're putting L3 up. We're scoring at two centimeters and at 10 and a half centimeters. So basically you've got a two centimeter fold over on either side. It's amazing how rubbish I am at like working out how far two centimeters is because I don't use it. Like it's a tip. Yeah, well, if you said two, yeah. two inches, I have no idea what you're yeah. talking about. But like now, when I look at that and I see two centimeters, it's like two cents, so many two centimeters. <laughs> you know, like an estimate because, yeah. Okay. So that's the first one. And then the long one, we're going to score in a couple of places. So we're going back to L1. Sorry, I'm jumping around a bit. We're scoring at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 centimeters. So we're scoring all the way from 14 centimeters here on the centimeter, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 centimeters. We've got six score lines because we've got five pieces that we're going to add to it. And then all we're going to do is we're going to start folding. Oh, they didn't give such a nice cut there. 18 centimeters. Finishing up at 19 centimeters. We're just going to fold, fold and burnish. There's another new word for you girls. Fold and burnish, fold and burnish. And try and keep it so that it's level. Each time you're burnishing, you're making sure it's straight. You don't want your mechanism being seriously wonky. <clears throat> I just want to neaten up here because I can cut as perfectly as I would like. Okay, that's better. So you've got, it's easier to see on the blue side, you've got um, all of these folded on the score line. And I promise you it's going to go quickly now. Super, 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 super easy. If you want the floral side out, you can put the floral side. Let me show you here. So when I pull down, I can see the floral. If you want it so that the blue <laughs> side is facing up, you're just going to turn it over that way. But we're going to stick with the original plan. All you're going to do now is pick up your tape and you're going to put it sort of in the center between the score lines. And we've got five spaces because we've got five little flaps. And then this little guy, if you want the blue side up, you're going to tape on the blue side. If you want the floral side up, you're going to tape on the floral. What did you do? I did the blue side up. So I'm, I'm taping on the blue side. And just again, ladies, if you're feeling overwhelmed, just stop. We want to record this so that when we upload the video for you, you can pause and do all of this. Okay, so that's what you've got. Mm, it's hard. No, no. Tom. Um. Okay, I've checked on the back of mine. I'm going to get the bricks all going the same way. So all I'm going to do now. 
Zip. I'm going to zip along and I'm going to add so they just underneath the score line. And I'm making sure they level. First one, second one. Probably should have chalked this. But I want you girls to go and eat and have a nap before Michelle starts. <laughs> Maybe have a gym. Maybe have a gym. No, man. Mm. 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 Well, we're going to have a gym. We're all going to buy a red ball. Sunday afternoon. Everybody's going to have Sunday roast. Yeah, why didn't Erin cook us Sunday roast? <laughs> <laughs> she has been trying to make clappers. Yeah, I'm going to ask her with my Sunday rose. Okay, so basically, mm -hmm. that's what it's looking like now. All right, and then we're just going to add that into our album. So, folding this down. This is probably the only part that's tricky. We're just going to fold that back. So that we can add a bit of tape. What did you fold back? I'll show you now. The first one. Okay, so there it is there. You know, just fold that back so that we got that some, the smallest piece and put a piece of tape on because we're going to attach this piece. And closer to the top, to the bottom rather than the top. That makes sense. So otherwise your mechanism, I had a lady phone me the other day who mechanism wasn't working. Just too close to the top here, so it didn't give it any. At this stage, I don't think anything know what's top and what's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's your little piece that you've attached. There's your long piece, which is going to fold back. I think I'd want to use in about 100 years. I know, in about 100 years. So fold over and we're going to stick this to the album. And what I did do and what I find works is to strengthen this. So if you want to do that now, you could take a piece of craft and just cut it to that size. This is optional. I'm going to cut it to eight. I think I've made a mistake. I'm going to have 30 and a half. I'm just using a piece of backing. You don't have to do this. But before I'm sticking oh. down, I'm actually just going to add this little piece of craft in here just to strengthen it. I've taken one of the backing. How much sheets. did you cut it to? Um, eight centimeters by 13 and a half. And probably I would normally glue this one, but I don't know if it's with me, so tape is good. And all this is going to do is it's going to just add a bit of um, stability to the back. You're not going to see this. Before you move on, can you just quickly show us again where that belly band was? Okay, back? the belly that band. Was a bit... Right, so there's, that's the long piece that I've now stuck a piece of craft over. This is the, the last little piece that's left. It's only seven centimeters. So it's the eight by seven, it's the bottom piece. Okay, stuck the belly band along the bottom and now because that's going to attach my entire mechanism to the book so from there that's it flat fold it back tabs of that belly band fold over and i'm going to pop it into the album center it
Hope you all sleep well tonight, girls. Yeah. What are we going to sleep <laughs> from now till tonight? <laughs> and there's your mechanism. I just want, um, don't want to sit down. Okay. I want to check for me. And it works perfectly. Part two. Fantastic. And the, to the end, so do it again. Yeah. Competition. No, I can't get to my bottom one. <laughs> you can't get your bottom one. What's okay, wrong? So I think I might have used it. So what's up there? Yeah. Okay. Julie, are you adding my video? No, I made you just look for me. It's probably not the best way to join my page because I see the command. I think the answer is wrong. Can you open your bottom one? No, your bottom one shouldn't open because it's hiding all the it's hiding all the belly bands. So you shouldn't open the bottom one. So we can, once it gets to there, that actually should stop. Okay, so right. You can even stick stick it down. Yeah. The guy's getting a bit panicky. Is no. the RS one right? Yeah. And um, don't you want to just demo it for people at home quickly? Oh, but maybe it's wrong. Like kind of. Okay. You can even you stick that one down. Stick my piece down because she's a different piece of paper. Okay, okay. So there it is. And you'll open it. Right. So you this bottom piece, you can even stick it down so that you don't see it. Okay, have I done it all right? You've done it right. I just want to put a piece on the back. I just thought yeah. maybe I had. And it tends to run better if you do put that little piece yeah, to stabilize it at the back. Yeah, but I, think yeah. I was scared I hadn't done it right. You've done it right. Of course, you've done it right. Yeah. But remember, I don't have a, what do you call it? A school ball. School ball here. Again, okay, Laura. Yeah. Sorry. Sandy can help you because you're here. Sandy, pick me how much stuff that lost on this thing. A little so lost. It's not focused on Laura. It's okay. focused on people at home. So right. Sandy, do you, um, do you only stick down the belly band, not the whole back? Just the belly band, otherwise your mechanism is not going to move. So remember, point of my feet, Laura. Remember we, um, okay, so here's Laura's. You're only putting tape on the belly, on the side of the belly band. You've got two centimeters on either side, so it's a little bit wider than normal. And you're only attaching that. If you attach this, your mechanism's not going to run. So it goes, have a look again. There's your piece flat. Okay. There's your piece. You're going to fold it over. So it's folded, basically folded, just, it's a little bit um, more and than only, it's only the flap of the belly, a belly um, thing goes down. Belly band goes, there's the belly band, and you're yeah. only attaching that because your yeah. mechanism, have a look, your, me yeah. uh, your mechanism has to move freely. Okay. okay. Cool. cool. Thanks, Sandy. Pleasure. Any more questions? Any more questions? Barma, that face is looking very, very. <laughs> Barma's <laughs> a mini Barma's a mini album. She can do mini albums. The, hello, please. Can you show us where to place the belly band again? Because that's what's confusing me. Where do we stick that belly band on? Not okay. onto your base covered, but where do you actually place it? Where my my right hand is, or where it is on the the mechanism. Where it is on the mechanism. Okay, so here's the full piece, the 20, the 26 centimeter. There's your first score line going from 14 to 19 centimeters. This is that little piece that's after the 19 centimeters. So it's seven centimeters. You're sticking it on that seven centimeters. Does that make sense? Okay. Let me try and cut another one and show you without the pages on. I'm going to show you one where there are no pages involved. Then you can... For those of you who got it and you're happy, um, I think go and have lunch. We will re uh, do a video of the entire album so you can see where to embellish it. Uh, those who want to stick around and watch Sandy explain it in more detail. Um, okay. <laughs> right. Okay, so here's my piece. It's 26 centimeters by 8 centimeters and I scored at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 centimeters. Okay, so it's okay. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 centimeters. This is the back part. This is the part, this is the, let's call this the pull. Okay. This is here, one, two, three, four, five. Those are where you're going to pop your pages. This is where your belly band is going to be attached. Does that make it easier? Yes, that's, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, that's much better. Thank you. Okay, then the belly, so your belly band, has a nice piece so we can have a different color. Your belly band will go over there, but nearest, near the bottom. You don't want to attach it too close to the top. And when I mean the top to those score lines, otherwise your mechanism is not going to move nicely. And then when we come to close it off, like so, I haven't scored. So let me just score two centimeters and um, two and ten and a half. Okay, mm. so this is not the right size. Often when I'm in a hurry like this, I just score so I know where to cut. Right, so this is my belly band now. And I'm going to attach this little guy to there. But it's also going to incorporate that. And I'm only going to stick there. Okay, so it's attached to this layer. Yeah, I often use the black gaudy colors to do stuff. These like a purple and a whatever green and an orange like that don't match. So my belly band is attached there. And like this. Okay, so that's going to fold over. So you can see the brick, right? It's folded over. That's going to fold over like that. And now when we attach it, it's going to pull. Okay, simple. Then you can put your pieces on top. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. But that oh, helps. Thank you. Yeah, very much. Thank you so much. There's just one question that asked me if you can quickly put the ribbon on the outside. Oh, that's easy. They did um, somebody to ask now. Ribbon. And, and then I'm just going to show you here as well. I stuck down the little acetate stars and then I put the little charms over the top. So it was quite cute. I thought it was quite cute. That's other thought it was really clever. Really clever. <laughs> really clever. You are really clever. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, adding the ribbon. So easy, 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 easy. I'm just organize my life that quickly. Find the table. Find the table. Normally, if I'm doing a mini album, I will cut everything before I start. I don't cut as I'm going. So I'll have everything labeled A to whatever is in a mini album. I won't leave it to you like now to be cutting. But for this one, I needed to cut in front of you so you could see. Okay. Oh, that's not right. What happened? It just went in. Get that lighter out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and we're going we're going to do exactly what laura said we're not going to waste any ribbon hey laura no so we're just going to come in from the center you can put tape there if you want to and then i tied i need my belly to help though Okay, so I've just got that and I'm going to cut it. 
<laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Mm. You're not it. And I just snotted, yes. Knot. Knot mouse. And that's it. There that's you go, it. Natasha. So much of easy. And, 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 and then what Dennis I did do, like Dennis is bringing this out. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I've got one like this at home in my craft room. And just, just, Dennis is watching. He thinks I'm going to burn the house. And he down. wanted <laughs> to do it. He was itching. Okay. And I just um, burn the edge, singed the edges. And then I came in with a little bit of blue and doubled over the top. So easy peasy. Sandy, for the sake of the video that's recording, could you just run us through your completed album? Okay, so sitting, starting off on the album, um, we've got some little raised flowers, and I think I also I did. I raised the little camera. I've used the acetate. And on the side, I thought you got this as well, which I just stuck over the ribbon. That's chipboard, right? Sorry, chipboard. <laughs> it's been a long morning, Dennis. <laughs> then the pocket, and in the pocket, I took the, um, what did you call these? Journal cards. Journal cards. Journal cards. <laughs> I've got no words, no more words. And I've just popped those in there. Then we've got the little concertina, the pull out. And these flowers, I've stuck them only along the bottom so that you can stick your, your photo in behind them. Okay. All those little banners come off the fussy cut sheets? They all come off the fussy cut sheets. I've only used what was on there. Opening up, you've seen this one, but I'll open it up again for you. Oh, and this piece of ribbon, all I did was I, I stuck it down with glue, oh, sorry, with um, tape. I just popped it underneath and stuck it down and then added, you know how we did um, Juliet's class yesterday where we left a little bit of white or used a little bit of glue on the top just to add it to that. I also have, I haven't stuck this down. Sorry, my words have gone now. I'm tired. <laughs> Tuck spot. Tuck spot just for yeah. Juliet's. <laughs> Okay, and there's my other pieces. These you can use any off cuts that you've got. The measurements are there. And the only reason I put the ribbon in was because otherwise they fall out. That's the only thing that like worries me about the e bands. They come flying out. Yeah. And that's the ribbon I did. So yeah. yeah. I can now use it. So They'll probably fall out flying out a bit of No, I'm dramatic. Right? <laughs> 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 and then they fly out because you're like looking in the way papers on the other side of the room. And just to show you how well the singeing works, I singe these and they've done, I mean, they've been opened a couple of times. We've got our top loading pocket. I've given you the measurement for the tag. So I've just um, done some stitching, not Laura's stitching, but I did some stitching. Beautiful. And then Great to that, flowers. I added some flowers. Sorry, I can't get this in here for the moment. Here we go. And I positioned the little okay so that it's sticking out through the little hole. Some flowers and we got some chipboard. And then flipping over, we've got another one of these. Obviously, you can put a photo or something in the front, you are saying. And we've got our, our little pop-up. And again, I haven't stuck any of these down so that you can put um, your photos underneath. I've just added the mat so that you can see where we can. You would also put a photo in the front here. Going to retrieve, we'll call this one Jenny's page. And I put a bit of ribbon, I mean a bit of twine, not ribbon. I told you I've got no words now. They finished, they're gone. Added a little tuck spot for Juliet. You see, I did all these things. Did the little mock stitching on this one, but definitely didn't do it on the back, I'm not sure why. I do love these little what do you call them? Mm -hmm. Tabs. 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 They, I love them. they look love so them. cute too. Then here we've got just little flaps with some bits and bobs. And at the back we have the waterfall, which I stuck the books the wrong way. Onto the back of the album, I used the stencil, the mask, and I just used some, I don't know what I used, whatever I had at home. And then I used a bit of chalk on a dauber just to change the color because I didn't want them to be white, stark white. Is that texture paste? It's, te it's a texture paste. It was, I don't know. It's a little birdie one. 
was a range of one of them. It was one I had at home. But you could use any you can use paste any texture there. paste, yeah. And so that's it. And the spine, and on the spine, 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 spine I added the extra of it. Oh, and I stuck the charm on. I, I had a in the in the um embellishing embellishment pack. There is this little um chain, but I didn't have the cutters to close it. Um, what is it called? A the jump, tool, the jump oh. ring. No, you get that little um, you get the little thing that like a clasp, clasp that you close them. I didn't. Put them I have in. them, but I didn't know if anybody else would, so I didn't use jump that. Ring. They were so cute because you could have popped a hole in the mm. side. But I used what was in the pack because they are amazing packs. Well, Sandy, thank you very much. I'm going to end the recording now um, and the Facebook Live. I think we will message on the group, but I think we'll extend lunch by half an hour. Um, so we'll come back at 1.30 instead of 1. And we'll just carry on until half past 4 this afternoon. Um, I hope that's okay with everybody, but we really wanted to finish the album. Okay. Thanks, Sandy. I'm going to Thank end the Sandy. recording. It's a pleasure.